Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Betty a True Nerd, and welcome to the super wholesome chill live stream. All right, this is going to be the super wholesome chill live stream. And I know normally when I say that, like ten minutes later we're on fire. Like, and, and also things going badly in the game. But like, yeah, so the thing is, Thomas... <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yes. So I was talking to the mods on Discord earlier. Yeah. And Thomas said, well, the problem is the chill of the game, the the, the wildest, the John. I, because, like... This is not untrue. You, this is not untrue. If you can't I, get chaotic in the game, you get chaotic in commentary. I think this 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 game is, is too chill, even for me. This is... Claire, turn your phone off. Good to say, we're at the, th at the cinema, Claire. Okay, but I can't turn my phone completely off because we don't have a doorbell right now. That's true, we don't. <laughs> it fell off, don't ask. Um, it was my fault, John was right. I was going to go into a story about how it was stolen, but that, my, my story would have been way better. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Should I just take it back and not like tell tell people you were right? Fair, no, that's Publicly true. Don't no, no, that's right. I do enjoy that. I do enjoy that. This is unpacking. It's a game about unpacking things, as you may be aware. Hang on, just in case you missed the live stream. It's just the live stream. This is the live stream. Just in case you missed the video. Let's just uh go into this. Yeah, this is this is the 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 file select stream, by the way. You're literally choosing <gasps> a, you're choosing which photo album. It is with your name written on the side because obviously you, you choose to take a photo so of the cute. rooms after after you're uh, done because it's like you take a photo at the end to decide what you're doing. It's just in case you, you don't know, this is this is what it's all about. You, it's just key points in your life that this one person, this one person who owns no underwear, so many oh socks. Oh my god, John! <laughs> okay, let's talk all about the things that John didn't know. Um, Let's just... You didn't know about underwear? What, did you... <laughs> what I didn't know was that... Let's just, just quickly just get to go to hit. So apparently... Well that, those are bras. I know what okay, those good. are. That's fine. Good, good, but I feel good. like four is, is quite a low number. I, I, I don't know if you're at university. Bras are expensive. Is it the ones with the little ribbons that are the underwear? Yes. Why little ribbons? It strikes me as unnecessary. I believe the history of uh, underwear, and particularly women's underwear, having little ribbons on it, mm -hmm. uh, comes from um, when it used to be like a, like basically drawers, yeah, like you know uh, underwear that you would tie at the waist yeah. before they were like elastic and stuff. Yeah, I believe that w that's where it comes from originally historically. We, I looked this up on the internet uh, oh, yeah. when the first. Uh, or oh, somebody told us in the comments, I can't remember, yeah. but when we did the first uh, video, yeah. somebody gave us some actual cool history, or, yeah. so that was cool. I feel like the sock to underwear ratio feels high here. Like, that's yeah. a very large number of socks. I'll Tony, give you that. that, I'll that, give that, you that the, for the sure. ratio feels a bit on the off side. So, it's the story of this one person, and you follow them through their life on key moments. So, for example, this is when they went to university. Uh, for the first time. This is like their first year in university in their first little kind of like uh, room in halls. And it's really cute because it tells a story. Mm. And some of it's through like things over time. Like this poster is in good condition here. And this poster survives. But it's it's more battered in your next place. And some items disappear and some items reappear. And it just tells the story of this one ah. woman through her life. And it's really, really nice. Okay, so uh, Myra says, uh, I thought there were no socks and only underwear. Uh-huh. Um, and then apparently <laughs> the purple one with the black trim is also underwear. I think it's maybe just okay, in the way that it's folded. Okay, how the John, difference? The way that it's folded. Okay, the thing is that John never folds his own socks. Yeah. My socks just live in a big pile and I never wear matching socks. I mean, I just I just picked two. So if I, I intentionally. Your underwear also live in a big pile in a drawer somewhere. Well, yes. Okay, there you go. But that's if you were to fold. My underwear, underwear also doesn't have little tiny ribbons on it for shame. Yeah, yeah. No one well, underwear with little tiny ribbons is... on them. I think that would be nice. I'd feel pretty. What I'm saying. Why don't I get underwear with little ribbons on them? Do you want me to like put little <laughs> ribbons on your underwear? Because I can do that. I've got ribbon. <laughs> So it's getting, now you're making it weird. No! <laughs> you literally said something like... Anyway, this is fine. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> also, I forgot to put anything in this drawer. There's a bedside drawer, so I could have put something away in this drawer. Oh. Or like, if you're if you're sick of the alarm going off, no. In the... <laughs> no, that doesn't go. <laughs> James, like, the game is a little bit fussy about something's not being allowed in certain places. I wish the game were a bit more open about what was allowed where. Like, you should be allowed to like make a room that's a bit dysfunctional if that's how you want it to be. Which it's my only complaint about this game that I think you'd be a little bit overly fussy. But it does use it for like storytelling purposes. Like, like the big one is uh, just got the change. I don't want any of them. Like, uh, you clearly like after university you move in with friends, and it's a really cute like house and it's like i think the implication is it's people that you met playing D, &D at your university yeah you and uh, did you I mean, see the somebody was saying in the chat uh, in the in the comments of the previous video i can't believe you didn't put the uh the picture of the nd that uh that our character made uh right above the table where they play dnd which Lol. i thought was cute <laughs> that that was a possibility that's super cute uh but yeah like the, the, i think the, the biggest Ooh, there's a free placement option in the settings says echo 16. Ooh. okay oh god we <laughs> oh should change that audio video accessibility icon size room swap allow items anywhere yes oh this removes the puzzle element of the game are you sure Okay, I'll leave it off for now as I feel like it's, the game's kind of set up a balance to the idea that you have to work to figure things in. Plus, if that wasn't the case, like, it might undermine some of the story stuff. Like, one of the biggest story bits is... Uh, yeah, like this one, yeah. yeah, there's nowhere on the wall for you to put your degree, and it's kind of difficult for you to put your instrument you're learning. So you end up, like, you know, shoving, like, your degree and your the instrument you're learning under the bed, out of the way, which feels so wrong. So wrong. Especially since you're, like... It looks like you might be learning the instrument because your boyfriend's really into music. Into, like, yeah, music. So you're so... kind of like... Yeah, and you kind of seem to, like, give up on rock climbing. Apparently one of these, like, isn't it sleep... It, uh, it's something to do with rock climbing because apparently there was lots of rock climbing stuff going on. Yeah, but on. The, the rock climbing stuff I don't think came with you. No, I think that's what was banned and long ago. Like, at least some of it. Like, the shoes and... Apparently the purple thing when you're a student. Like, apparently you're into rock climbing. Which may well be where you meet this boyfriend... Uh, like at the gym or something because he's into weights and stuff and has a big thing of protein powder and I hate him so much. Oh, oh, and we learn what... It's a fridge magnet! I didn't know this. Did you spot this? I told you about yeah, it! I couldn't, remember? I, couldn't, I yelled at you about it after the video. I couldn't you? remember. These are fridge magnets. I didn't know that. So that's where we are. We moved in with our terrible boyfriend, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Fortunately, yeah, he is terrible. It doesn't work out. So it doesn't work so out. So two odd uh, years later, mm. this is where we got to in the video. Uh, two years later, we are back home in our childhood bedroom where we started at the age of about uh, ten or eleven, which is kind of cute because some of the items that I never took with me are still here. Mm. Which are like the original little picture of a pig, which I assume I drew, or maybe... Like, because of the art style, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, I think that's supposed to be the ambitious I drew it, because I'm clearly into art. Like, I yeah, studied and we have a graphic pig, style or something. Um... This is interesting. This dog, because this never came with me to university, but it's clearly been framed and looks like it's been drawn the side it's been painted. So this might have been something I painted when I was 15 or 16, mm, yeah. but never took with me. But my parents... And there's these, also, this one's got a little thing on it like i won an art medal, competition like, yeah. like a one little art competition at school so nice. these are like little bits of art that are presumably from like hang on it this is because this game's the, exactly the same um generationally this is the same as this game is the same as ours so yeah. uh 2012 is about a decade back so okay the protagonist we're supposed to assume they're in the range of 2025 20, or yeah, something, something yeah. like that like 25 yeah. 26 which actually means they were quite young when they moved in with their partner. I hadn't really actually considered the exact ages involved, but this is just graduated, somewhere around uh, uh, 21. They're uh, more like... Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be... Don't you think that would be still, what, March 207? Yeah. Uh, Assuming a three-year course at university, because they, yeah. they started university in 2004, though in January for some reason. Maybe that, is that when terms start in Australia? Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, supposed yeah, to be yeah. in Australia or, or New Zealand. That's how people knew that it was supposed that it was in, in the in the southern hemisphere. Yeah. Right? Because obviously so that you can have a summer holiday. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. So the term But if the term starts in January. Yeah. Yeah, March 
2007 would be... Yeah, three years on, so you'd yeah. be about 21-ish. Somewhere yeah, 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 around 21-ish. Yeah. Then you're about... Sorry, it's, it's slightly hard to compare to our own yeah. lives because the, semis, uh, the the thing is slightly different. Yeah, the 20, 24-ish 20, like... when they, they mm. moved in with the partner. You speculated, you, you read it as there might be a big age difference based on the level of niceness of the flat. Well, because, look, I don't know what uh, 23... Y- what is it, a 24-year-old? 24, yeah. If, she, if she's 24 and her boyfriend owns nice copper pans... I just kind of look, read I it as... I don't know what 24 I, I read it as, like, pans. finance gym bro who had a good job. I didn't read it as old, I just read it as has a really fancy job. Well, right. Which could be... Which he it can, can be, be a know. finance gym bro who has a very good job and is older. Yes. It reads to me as someone who is in a slightly different... Like stage of their life. Yes, that's that's a fair assumption anyway. So yes, now we've got the interesting situation of I've got to figure out how to um how to get all my stuff. Oh, the the old peeled off stickers. Aww. There's old stickers and there's actually there's old stuff. I don't know what. I don't think uh, you, can, you can't open. You, yeah, Aww. you can't open things unfortunately. And tapes. Yes, cassette tapes. Sometimes it's hard to say. Is that a? That's an old poster. Oh. Yeah, oh. that's going straight back up. Oh, I unlocked a sticker by doing that. Nice. Putting, putting the poster back up got me a sticker. There's my Tamagotchi. There's my... Yes, Dreidel. I, I, we must assume this character is Jewish or at least from Jewish background, I assume. Yeah. I, I'd see, I would see very little reason there would be a Dreidel floating around otherwise. That's what that's called, right? Dreidel? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. so. Um, so, like, I just love this game because... I was going into this thinking it was just going to be a fun little, you know, puzzle game about unpacking stuff. I did not know that, like, it felt like it was going to be primarily narrative. And it is. It's one of the best told narratives I've played this year. Um, which is amazing. I mean, yeah. Fixato says, nice copper pans could be a chef in training, but that doesn't explain all the other expensive fancy pan stuff in all the pen- penthouse. Is, and- is copper super nice for cookware? Yeah. Cause- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because because I've never even looked at copper cookware. Right now our cookware is aluminium. Um, See, um, whenever we um, whenever we go to France, when it's possible, don't ask my dad about the copper pans. What? Because you know. No, was 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 your dad's. Does he have a tragic backstory involving copper pans? No, like he has old... copper pans and he likes them and he will talk you here off about them. Oh, I'd like quite like to hear about copper pans. I want to hear about them. This sounds like an excellent bonding thing. I thought right, we were kind right, of going right. into like an RPG thing where, you know, sometimes whatever happens around the, our new healer, don't mention copper pans. <laughs> no, the copper pans, my parents, what are you doing, copper pans? No! I'm anti-copper pan Batman! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you took that to a weird place. Uh, anyway, it's fine. Oh, I'm toss. just saying. Yeah. I'm just telling you the things that might trigger a Claire-style amount of talking from my parents. Oh, not that much. That's way too much talking. There you go. <laughs> That's what I meant. All right. My dad's into the copper pans. Uh huh. Okay, I do have under the bed, and I suspect I'm going to need to use under the bed a lot. Yeah. Because I have, I have like a big pile of grown-up stuff, and what's this one? Like an, is that like uh, like an old like biscuit tin, like a, an old oh, fashioned you know, metal really biscuit tin with stuff? Um, it looks like a like a that Danish biscuit. I mean, I don't know if they have that in Australia. Yeah, it could it could we be a, a a metal biscuit tin being used to store it. We had a metal biscuit tin with this precise color scheme and pictures of biscuits that look like that. Yeah, with like buttons in. Am I? When I was growing up. Interesting. Is it a lot like sewing supplies? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, just... Uh, the Someone on my mum's side, like a great uncle or something on my mum's side, had a um, haberdashery on the market kind of stall, and mm. we have a lot of buttons. Like, random things that are... Speaking of things that move from house to house for no reason. Do you mean this is Beetle, by the way? Because someone was saying Scorpion in the comments. Oh, that I, looks, that's I think that looks like a beetle because, that's I mean, I don't I know, that, I, you can't, I don't think you can see a tail like no, I didn't think that. so either, but like someone was, I think like one person said scorpion in the comments, I had no idea where that mm. came from. Uh, okay, but all the old, oh, it's a little, 
they'll stick I up. Love, they'll I stick love around the, dragon the back. Door. The dragon. Well, the eyes are a bit big because presumably, based on the shimmer, the eyes are supposed to be like ludicrous mega marbles, mm -hmm. which would strike me as like less comfortable to hug because relatively, like the cuddly bit of it is like quite small next to the eyes. <laughs> Which is really weird. Uh, but maybe maybe it's made of just like a um yeah. a fabric that's a bit shiny. Maybe. I like how the sticker stuck to it, because when I was a kid I stuck stickers on everything. <laughs> mm. Oh dear. Alright, we've we've still got the D twenty. Or actually hang on, do we know this is a D twenty or based on the number of visible sides, is it something less like a D dodecahedron? Uh put it down. Because we're only observing it from like, that doesn't feel like that's enough sides for it to be 20 all the way round. Uh, Assuming we're seeing approximately half of it, or thereabout. <laughs> okay, and then we have got... Oh, this is... Ah, but also, cr crucially, critically, are we going to be seeing the new Game of Thrones? Because there has... Because every time we, we do seem to see uh, the new Game of Thrones sporadically uh, showing up, that always seems to be uh, showing up and... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, chat says definitely a D20. Okay, fair enough. Uh, definitely a D20. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Kogan Newsom says those toys really exist, and yes, the eyes are hard. That strikes me as, yeah, less less comfy. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we've got... Ah, uh, look at this, ooh, the photos. Ooh. I think that's supposed to be... Didn't we say that looked like it was going to be our parents? Yes. And then yes, the one of, that. like, possibly Venice. Uh, so the photos yeah, of the fridge Yeah, and it makes a lot more sense once you grok that it is set in Australia. Oh, I the think... boyfriend's got a pin through his face! Yes! Why, why, if you put it up, it's not there automatically, but if you put it up on the thing, you put a pin through his face. He's not getting put up. Is there a bin? There's a bin behind here. We could, Can if we you could, put it under the bed? We might be able to. Why would you even keep that? Good go to the bed. There we go, it's nice. out of the way. I hope you can put a box like on top of it. Or well, something. the boxes just magically disappear. No, I know that. Which but... is a shame. Well, I mean, you say that, but I'd like it if our real boxes magically disappear. Real cardboard. Dis okay, so there's the ones you've already seen. We've definitely seen those ones already. Is there going to be a fourth one? That is not definitely not the same thing. I'm not sure what that's supposed to, if that's supposed to I be. I don't think there's going to be a fourth one. <laughs> Somebody Did they slow that? down? They did dramatically slow down. Oh, she's gone over to a DS. She's got the Nintendo DS. She's upgraded. She's no longer on the GP. Oh, the drawing's back. Yes. Claire, she's We're going to put this front and center. Front and center. We're going to create an inspiration desk right here. All her favorite things. All right. Her family, her D&D &D stuff is not going on a shelf. It's right here. So she can see it all the time. Okay. The D20, the little figurine. We're creating... We're getting her back. Yes. Yes. All right, that's what we're doing. The laptop too is going to cat. Cat. Get it then. Cat comes pull, gets pulled out. The markers. Woohoo! Yeah, we're back. We're back, baby. We're flipping back. There's going to be difficult to fit the laptop. Can I, I think the laptop? Yeah, the laptop can go on top of the. Yeah, the that's thing, all right. Which is then yeah. Then whichever one you're thing. not using, you can just put to one side. I think that that's fine. But the markers are back. The, we're back, baby. We're drawing again. He wasn't able to to smash the art out of us. We're recovering, damn it. Try to put it over top of the picture. What? The rolled up mat. Try to put it over top of the picture to hide it. Ah, no, you can't. No, it's so that, that will not it stack. might not be the right spot for it then under the bed. Well, the game might be the fussy game about might that. Be fussy might about be fussy it. about that. Diploma needs to get. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. <laughs> okay, well, but well, the, the, this needs to be put away. I'm keeping, I'm keeping the dog up. The dog feels inspirationy, but my degree's going next to the dog. No life here feels a bit down. I feel like no life here could go and could go away. We could replace that with something happier, like say one of my bits of art as a kid. Maybe the the, the award-winning one? Can that squeeze? Well, that's, that's landscape, so it might yeah, not have enough room. Yeah, squeeze. I'm going to put one of my art bits of art as a kid, all right? Happy dog. Happy dog, my degree, my art. We're making an inspiration. Please fix the spacing between those. What? I'm not sure you can. Oh, God, that hurts me. There's no, there's no way to do that. Unless I put this one. That's as good as it's going to get. 
Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I prefer it. <laughs> so it's good. That's 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 as good as it's gonna get. I've still got my bag. I've still got my file of presumably grown-up document share. I've got. My, I've kept the ukulele. It's the problem is that money just need to go under the. It's going up here for now. We'll need to work on that. I don't want to put it back under the thing. What's that? It's the Loch Ness monster. Maybe yeah. Maybe it's just a picture you drew. Now that's new. I don't remember that. Also, much did you see? I'm not sure whether you saw this. Um, mm -hmm. apparently there are eighteen thousand sound files in this game because every single item, depending on where you put it, generates a different noise. What, depending on the surface? Exactly. Wow, that's lovely. So, like, whether you put it, so there's nice, like, warm thud on the carpet. Yeah, I mean, I, I legit, you I can't, can't hear, hear this. sound right but, now. But, like, they but, yeah. can. Yeah. Then you put it on the wood, it sounds different on the bed. Like, a really soft rustle. And, like, every item's got a different thing. And, like, it's different for loads of different items, depending on their size and weight. Chat, what is this? Do we know uh, what this thing Jinx... is? I'm just gonna wait for chat to catch up with what this is. Jinx says the boyfriend had that thing on his nightstand, I think. It looks like an incense burner, John. She took it from the boyfriend's place. Oh. I think she takes the thing from every person she lives with. Okay, that's slightly sinister. I'm not, sure that's, I'm not sure that's good. Also, the pig's getting a bit battered. The pig's, the seams are starting to show a little bit. Oh, Though, interestingly, buddy. the other toys aren't because they've been better preserved because they've not been carried around so much. So the other toys are in better condition, which mm -hmm. is adorable. Right, I'm just gonna. Yes, this is faster. So incense burner, apparently. I've never had one. Mm. The chickens are still here. Presumably the little chicks are too. Has she got more chicks over time? They're more. Ch they're more chicks, and that's hot water bottle. Yeah. yeah. That I think should that's be allowed. Be allowed to just be kept on the bed. And yes, I, I think that. I think that might be a new chick. She just oh, keeps. Adorable. Just keeps buying more chicks. And there's. Yep, she's ukulele. still. She's still learning how to play the ukulele. And music McJibbles. That's an eraser to go with the things. This is. We're going to have to make some choices about what is and isn't going to be able to fit in here, uh, which is unfortunate. Can I go? What is that? It's like a piece of paper. It's like a, a, a drawing. So, like a sketch that we're working on. Looks like it might be my pig. Maybe it was from when I was a kid. Oh. I mean, it looks cute. like it looks in a similar style to this horse. If you look here. Yeah. Like no, they look I not dissimilar, but I'm not sure why I'd have that in this box now when I have never seen it before. Which is what are you, buddy? Hey, buddy. What do you think that is? Can you move that? Is that like a is that a game cartridge for the new game thing? It's possibly a cartridge for the DS. Chat, what do you think that is? Claire! Uh, yes indeed. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. <laughs> Myra says the new chick is the one with the egg on its head. I could have sworn I'd seen the egg on head before. I thought so. Yeah, people are saying it's a DS game. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. And uh, from earlier in, uh, we've got a message from Ali, who's been a member for 15 months. Hello, Ali. Uh, and Ali says, uh, this is a great game. I love the way the story is told. I love how predictable the return to the parents' house was. Lol. Uh, for anyone noticing the details. <laughs> for sure. Uh, and member for 50 months. Stuart uh, O'Hara, uh, who, uh, yes, um... Want to know if uh, there's any chance uh, on one of the podcasts uh, that you and Dan and Matt would play Secret Hitler with Claire and Rebecca as well? I've never played it myself. We've done a super fight uh, a couple of times uh, in the past in like the old podcasts. Possibly it was one of the charity streams I was visiting Dan mm. on. I think it might have been. I can't recall. Uh, I've never played it myself. Uh, but it sounds like, this, I, as I understand it, like, as I understand, uh, my limited understanding of the rules, that would, uh, yeah, be a, uh, thing that would, uh, you know, definitely work in a live stream sort of format. So, yeah, at some point I see no reason why not. All right, and then, uh, from Andrew, uh, who gave us $10, uh, Andrew says, uh, hello, on your last playing of unpacking, you declared that Diddy Kong Racing is superior to Mario Kart. I'm gonna ask you to defend that. It, it just is, okay? It just flipping was. Um, so I preferred the weapon system, where in Diddy Kong Racing, uh, the weapons were actually defined by the balloons, so you could actually tactically go for the weapons you wanted to, so you didn't have uh, quite such an element of uh, randomness. I think there's some really 
good courses um, in Diddy Kong Racing. Okay, fine. There's some blau ones like Treasure Caves or whatnot. But I think there's a really good selection of them. Plus, I think it's really interesting that you can try and do the, um, the aeroplane courses. Like, say, um, Windmill Village, I think it's called. Like, in car or hovercraft. And it makes it basically like a brand new course again. Which is... Really nice. Um, the bit of it was the, the really weird thing was I think Diddy Kong Racing with four players, the music doesn't play, presumably to save on like memory or something. I'm not sure. Um, yes, I'm banning the sewing because I don't think she's into sewing. We've never seen any evidence she's into sewing. So, like, I think the sewing the sewing machine's in here because her mum or something, or maybe her dad, I don't know. Someone in her family's in sewing and was using a her room when she moved out as a sewing room. But now she's moved back into it. We've never seen any evidence that this woman is into sewing. So I want this to be her drawing space. So the sewing stuff's going out the way. I think that's the right decision, damn it. Uh, yeah, that's interesting because uh, I think, yeah, that sewing machine she didn't have when she was with the awful boyfriend. Yeah. So it's not like something she's inherited from her old flatmate who was the cosplayer. No, I think, in fact, this might have been in the room uh, when you were a kid. No, uh, people are saying, uh, people are saying, what about the cosplaying in the college room? Don't she cosplays, right? But I, think that's her, I think that was her. That was her friend. That was her friend that cosplayed, not her, I think. Like... When we moved in to that dorm, there was already yeah the cosplay the was already out. There was yeah, already correct. the sale of Venus outfit. Correct. There were already the wigs. Like, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. That was already uh, already there. So that was that's not a thing we need to worry about. Um. So I mean, you know, yeah, it's uh. Okay, we need to mm. get rid of some of these books. Possibly stack them up over here. Squeeze of the Game mm. of Thrones. Try to remember what order they came out in. I think it was green, red, blue. Let's put them in the right order. Oh, it says on them. Look, one, two, three. I was right. Oh, that's it actually, It actually says one, well two, three done. on the spine. I actually remembered that correctly. Look, I want my little buddy friend. I want my bug friend to uh, be right yeah, next to me. People were saying rhino beetle. Rhino beetle. Interesting. Uh, and also people are saying like how long uh, how long do they live and stuff like that but like she's only had it since like her I think she inherited one of her it didn't she yeah she had inherited it at it. university and someone in the comments speculated possibly accurately because of the flags and iconography up that one of the friends was kiwi but the game itself is in australia not new zealand and possibly when their friend had to go home she inherited the pet she can't take it over the borders I think was the theory, which I yeah, thought was I mean, quite convincing. Yeah, I mean, I said that to you after I edited it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure someone someone said it also in... I'm sure it's possible someone said it in the comment, but it's one of those peak... We had this conversation and I said this to you and you're like not remembering where you heard it from and you're saying comments. Uh-huh. I just think anyway. well of the comments, that's all. Right, you need to go up there. The football trophies can just be squeezed out the way. We don't need them. That's fine. Uh, behind the little pig thing. Because I'm clearly... Well, maybe... Okay, if I'm still a little bit in sport. I've got, like, little weights. I clearly used to climb. But there's no evidence I'd do it anymore. I don't seem to be getting back into it. I assume hot water bottle is allowed to stay here. Uh, I think the chick... The chicken and the chicks on the desk on the left is fine. I think they fit. Oh, do you not have your little, um, your little, like, a uh, drawing, um, your little person, you know, flexible wooden person for drawing anymore? Oh, well, I think that left after I was a student. I don't remember oh. seeing that afterwards. Yeah, I suppose you would need to use it in school for, like, studies. Yeah. Stud studying forms and stuff, and you wouldn't necessarily need to use it, uh, all the time yeah. now. The bag can just go right yeah. there. That's All nice, right. That's an everyday bag. Uh, there's a, there's um, there's still a picture on the bed. Yeah. Which? Yeah, that will go. I don't know what it is. Is it me? I, I think it's just like an art. Because it, that vein is like an art bed. shape with legs and what might be boobs. Is it naked me? Maybe. All right. I'm just into looking at yeah, naked me. Sweet. And yeah, I, if we can just hide it best, we we'll put that over there. Then we'll put this to here, and we'll put a little bit further. Further, it just needs to be further back. It needs to be further back if we can. I'm gonna put that to here. Boom! Yes! There we go. <laughs> right, boyfriend has been Good got work, rid of. John. 
You just shuffle the, the towels over. I might, I might only have space for a, for a face towel here. Might need to be... Uh... Well, yeah, I wonder if you can just put it... Uh, put it. Uh... Can you not put the bin out? I don't think the bin should be allowed to be on the floor. That's reasonable, that is. Oh, back pain! Yeah, she is going... She's slowly getting towards our age now! Oh, Here comes the back pain! <laughs> oh, perfection. Absolute perfection. <laughs> I love that. That's great. So, yeah, the devs know what it's like to get older. She approached her late 20s, early 30s. Here comes the back pain! <laughs> Spectacular. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Scent or something? Perfume? Not sure. Uh, I'm not sure because it's a bit far, but uh... is that feminine product again? That Maybe, box I we mean... haven't seen before. I mean, she's getting a bit excessive. She's got like three different ones. If so, I mean, come okay, on. You, 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 you need different ones. Uh huh. Well, you that... need tam. You need tampons and pads. <laughs> That sounds excessive to me. That's no brush. Okay, clearly the, the rule in this house is you don't want to have stuff just sitting out by the sink. So I'm going to try and honour that, if at all possible. Uh, that's deodorant. I can go over on a little shelf. You guys... Okay, everyone needs to just... Where did my deodorant go? I just hit my deodorant. Those cotton buds. I think there's little cotton buds in a jar. Yeah. I think. Ah! Okay, if I'm using my mug, my old broken mug is fine. It's my toothpaste. And you'll hear, you can also hear the um the ceramic here as well. Can that go in there? Yeah, the toothpaste can also go in there. That is... Okay, that's got to be perfume. Suggesting this might also be a scent type thing. Uh, people are saying in chat that it looks like Tiger Balm. I don't know what that is. Um... Is that like a... Like a... Like thing for your your lips and like dry think, lips. No, I think it's for um. No, I think it's uh. Wait a minute. What does Tiger Balm actually do? I ask the Google. <laughs> yes, it's a topical medication for pain. Ah. Ferris, uh, welcome to being old again. Okay, I see. Yes. Okay, we need to rearrange these. We need to rearrange all these. These. Uh, we need to rearrange my parents' thing. Because it's, it's just not... Can this go in the thing as well? Is it rude to leave out a razor? John? Yes? You know how typically... Uh, you know how typically you use your razor to shave your face? Yes. I don't use my razor to shave my face. Maybe don't leave it on the side. Does that mean it's supposed to go in the shower? Mm, I would leave it in the drawer and take it out when I need it. Uh, this is really big. Well, this could just go on a side somewhere. If just I mean, go up top. yeah, I it's, I think it's really weird to have those in the bathroom anyway. They need plugging in. You can't use them in the bathroom. I feel They're... like I don't want to leave that out. But apparently the bin is not supposed... Okay, maybe if I just put the bin a bit more out the way around the corner, like around here. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean... That's acceptable. That's fine. Okay, what's unacceptable here? Um, oh, no! Yeah. Oh, no. Well, maybe at this point, I'm not 100% sure whether it's over or something. Uh, I feel like it's if you... not happy with that either. Wait, the bin! The bin, Claire. The bin. Can you go with the bin? I'm afraid it can't. What? Surely that's the whole point. Okay, if, no. the, if the bin's in an acceptable point, can you go with the bin? <laughs> um... Somebody in chat told me the answer. Well, let me but, uh, let me try and figure it yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. There's no bin in here. I could file it inside a thing to put it out the way. I could just put it away in a cupboard where I can't see it. Uh, I wonder if, if you have to make room first. Uh, if I have to make room. Okay, so that's an acceptable. Can I put something on top of that? I could maybe put a book on top of that. Okay, if I make if I make a little bit of space for. I can't put a book on top of it. I can put it away. And that seems to be acceptable. So well, then this just can go under the bed. Do you want to... Boom. Do we know what that thing is though, that you put under the bed? Uh, it looks like some form of just like a storage box. I was thinking, I don't know, maybe... Could be something to do with the sewing again. Could mm. be a sewing box. But yeah, maybe. 
I'm sad that I wasn't allowed to bin it. I feel like binning it would have been a good answer. To like tear it up and like you get a little tear noise as you put it in. I feel like my bin response was quite good. Uh, so that's that's that right there. So that is apparently all acceptable at this point. I've moved back home and why would I take a picture of the bathroom? I think it's... Uh, folks are saying that uh, you get different... Uh... You get different little quotes in the thing, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's got to be the bedroom. Now what's the sad quote going to be? And... That was a turkey. I thought it was a poo for a second, but no, it was a turkey. This room used to feel bigger. Oh, no. Yeah, because you were smaller. Yes. But the, the pig gets to stay on the bed, damn it. Pig gets to stay on the bed. Uh, people are saying uh, it's something called the caboodle. A what? Oh, 2013 and we've moved on. We've moved somewhere else. With... Is that a basement flat? Let's look at the floor plan. Uh, living room, kitchen. Well, every room appears to belong to me and there's a single bedroom. Suggesting... And you have an office, which is nice. Yes, actually a studio. An art yeah. studio. And let's Thank just you. check whether it looks like I'm living on my own. Because I see no evidence that there's another person here. Yeah, but, other people. But, 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 the, there was already a TV here. And the bed was already present had bedding. Suggesting rented accommodation that comes pre-furnished. Because the furniture's already in here. Unless mm -hmm. we're just supposed to assume you don't unpack the furniture. The furniture is like... Yeah, because like, look, if you go... If you go back to your studio, you've got like a little cactus out. That that kitchen looks sufficiently slightly scruffy to <laughs> yeah. me. I'm thinking this is a rented accommodation yeah. that is no, that enough. is. I think this is yeah, especially as it's all a bit oh. of a mishmash. I think this is. You I've lived in worse places than you have this. Bean bags for chairs. I've lived in worse places than this. I mean, I know, and so have I. Uh -huh. but it's cute Remember that one room. That I had yeah, to have yeah, all my yeah, stuff yeah. in that period after I moved out from South London, but before we moved in together. I do, yeah. Where I had to put every, where I had to move into a single room in a house share, and I had all my stuff in that dumb room. That was dumb. That was a real. That was much worse. Uh, before we moved in together for the first time. Not just us, that was a big house share with the other people. Yeah. Uh, that was just when we moved in together for the first time. Ah, we can open this up. Yeah, the level of scruffiness. I'm thinking this is rent, this is definitely a cheap rental. But I just wanted clearly after, you know, hang on, let's get the, give me the exact time. I want, I want to know the exact times here. So this is, I moved back in my parents June 2012. So six months later. All right, I move so out. you've saved a uh, Saved a up a little bit deposit, and, clearly. And maybe I had, I don't know, maybe I wasn't doing so hot straight after the breakup. So being yeah, around other enough, people, you know. being around other people was good. But now we've got a much bigger, okay, but the big exciting one. Little studio, little, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, great. I mean, this could have been a box room as like a single bedroom, but I'm treating it as like an office or something. Yeah. Uh, Something like that. So, yeah. Interesting. This is all very exciting. I kind of want to. I want to start in the uh, the studio. By the way. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's going First straight. Step. That's not going under the bed. Can maybe I could just put that. Can I just want to put that straight under the bed? John. That's going straight under the bed. John. I've my hopes and dreams have been crushed. I will poke you. <laughs> I'll be the only person who's ever played this game who puts the diploma back under the bed by choice. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Oh dear. Uh, okay, you know, I might, I might start with the, I might just start doing the bathroom as the starting point. See what decadent one percent number of feminine hygiene products she's got now. Might be up to bloody four. Claire, oh yours. Uh, While we just get the basics yes, done here. Indeed. Uh, shout out to Positron. He gave us thirty-five pounds and says hello all. I'm glad to see this on a live stream. Can't wait to see your thoughts on the ending. It was my birthday yesterday, so have some celebratory money. Oh, happy birthday, kind of retroactively to you. Yes, happy birthday indeed, and uh, and uh, thank you for being a hobbit. Mhm. Mm uh, and from Jake, who gave us five pounds, says you guys are awesome. I hope you're well. I think we're doing very well. This is a super chill, nice game. Plus, I really like it's a game that we can chat about as we're playing yeah. it. That's super cute. It's really nice that we can actually, like, you know, chat about it. 
at this point. This <laughs> so much, but they actually got a toilet this time. Apparently, there might have been a toilet missing from the previous bathroom. Well, I think the idea was that there was a different room, like a separate. It yeah. might have been a separate room, or it might have been on like, like against the wall we can't see. There might be like a bit mm. more of the room we can't see over here. Oh, you know what I've seen? The interesting thing is, which I never thought I'd play this game, but I've seen other people who play this game by taking out everything and just laying it on the floor. And only once it's all on the floor, do they arrange it so they can see precisely what's coming, which is probably sensible. Yeah, I don't love that. But I don't, I don't love that either. I don't, I'm, I'm not loving that. It feels weird. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. The music is a bit jazzier, by the way. I feel like the music's a bit, uh, a bit. Ja oh, hang on. I think I've got upmarket, Claire. Does that feminine hygiene project look more upmarket than the last one? Because I think it does. I think I'm sorry, isn't that the exact same box of tampons? I swear I had a different brand at one point and it looked like more... Oh, that's definitely different. Like, the last one looked like... I don't know, I've seen it on the shelves before. It was a yeah. really common brand. I think she's got upmarket. I... John? Yes? I think that looks like the same brand but a slightly different packaging because it's a different size. Possibly? I think they basically both look like always, but I don't know. Uh-huh. Different size? Okay, this, this, this secrets I'm not going to get into here. Secrets of the other gender. Uh, right, let's just put some of all this nonsense away. Yes, secrets of another gender. Sorry, and also, yes. Um, and also, it's just Sim it's it's a pretty like you know, light medium heavy mm -hmm. like oh yeah size like that yeah okay yeah 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 I was wondering whether like her, <laughs> her bum was too big and she had to get yes size tampon. what do you said yes I just seemed like she's got large larger. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know where that was. It's like, well, it's not, what, what thing I just stumbled across here? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> dear. I, I apologise like, for I my poor, my poor choice of what my poor choice of wording regarding gender a second ago. I apologise. Um, oh is this oh vitamin dear. tablets? That looks like it. It says uh, <laughs> says D on it. So vitamin D is something that people take very often. Possibly. She's just. Shh. She has, she has had a boyfriend for a while, so she's just kind of supplementing that with a big jar of D that she keeps. <laughs> oh my god, John, come on. <laughs> and the big jar. And she got more cooking! There's more! How many hygiene products do you need, woman? I don't know, maybe she likes to feel hygienic. Possible. Shocker. Flim seems to be right. All of the first aid stuff's going in a single drawer. This is the first aid drawer, right? There's the feminine hygiene drawer, which has to overflow, pun not intended, um, because oh there's God. too many. <laughs> there's the feminine hygiene overflow area. <laughs> Oh, there it is. There's the. Oh, hang on. Is that a, oh, it's a little squishy. Squishy for the shower. You've got one of them. I've never understood them myself. But little squishy McJibbles. That thing. Yeah. Yeah. You use a lot less. Uh, you use a lot less product. Yes. All right. There's the bathroom. Plenty of space. For once, I've got plenty of space. So I can put away some of this. Though I. Mm. Squeeze that over there. Yeah, I kind of want to put. I kind of want to put this away. Can it fit maybe in the in the top? The top looks like it might be. Yes, yeah, the top's a tiny bit more. Yeah, because I want to get rid of that. And can the I razor? Can, go, yeah, yeah, the razor can go there. That I mean, actually works really well. That works really nicely. If I, I almost feel like that's a bit crowded. I might put that over there and have this over here. Yeah, I mean it does have I think that's a outlets. Bit more, I think that's a bit that more. Presumably, if you were using the outlets, you'd want to. But John, <laughs> uh, John. Just will hi John's just gonna hide the outlets because he's against outlets in the bathroom. Because I don't want to die. Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna apologise for not wanting to die. There we go. Look uh, at how much space I've got in here. But if anything, you, this is uh, just a decadently large bathroom for one person living alone. Can't you put the uh, um, the um, first aid kit and all the vitamins in the mirror? Uh, I feel like the mirror's mm. looking pretty full right I now. Guess, yeah, I mean, I, I, could put, I could put the hair clips in with the, the scents to create a tiny bit of uh, scent. Yeah, I mean, some of that, one of those things is a toenail clipper, but sure. So the jar of the jar of D can just go behind <laughs> the mirror. Jesus. 
<laughs> what secrets am I stumbling across here? Oh, it's a really big ass wardrobe too. No, there's yeah. even storage in here. Yeah. Little kind of cheap plasticky storage, but still, there's we're swimming in storage all of a sudden. Yeah, is she gonna have hangers now? I hope so. Right. Socks. Socks. Sock. Underwear. <laughs> underwear. That's underwear. Yes. Well done. I need hangers. Uh, really hope I brought hangers. That's presumably that looks pajamery to me. Yeah, that, that, that looks, looks like a that looks pajamery to me. Right, we know that the hot water bottle can just sit on uh, the bed. Good, I hangers. brought hangers. I actually brought. I hope I brought loads of hangers because otherwise problems. Uh, nice skirt can be hung up. Pajamas don't need to be hung. That no. would be excessive. Oh, apparently this was mine. Or I just stole it because I just steal something from everywhere I live because I'm a thief and a monster. And okay, no, I'll get it. Underwear. Yes! But with little buttons. Yeah, they have them sometimes. Like, I understand that for male underwear, because you need to, 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 to let out the snake in order to... Oh, no, to come set, on! To, to, ...to just use the urinal or whatever. That's just for decorating. So, sorry, but women just get to randomly have unnecessary buttons and ribbon on their underwear. Yeah. Why'd you guys get so lucky? Because we don't have pockets in our clothes otherwise. I guess that's a reasonable trade-off. More nice skirt. Not have to wait a reasonable for trade-off. That's a... Uh, Cardi? Like Cardi. I'm not sure that needs to be hung. Yeah, I would prefer it not be hung because it's... Uh, it's there we go. Um, that's for that skirt. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Definitely hang the skirts. Yes. And some slightly more grown-up shoes. In fact, actually, you know what wasn't at the old place? Any shoes, because they were probably by the door. No, my work clothes. I might have quit the job. Mm. Uh, working at whatever it was. I think someone said they knew what it was. Like it was like a well-known yeah, like kind brand. Of Woolworth like a Woolworths thing, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Uh, right, there's the other well, shoe. Well, okay, so some people are saying that thing is a shoe rack. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Don't worry. I don't know what this is, but it's going under the bed for now until such time as I come up with a better thing. This, this is fine. I've stolen the alarm clock. I mean, that was yours. It was in your childhood bedroom. That's so. true. But I feel like... I think if you move out and you don't take something with you, you surrender possession of it to the owner of the house. Like, I think it's weird to leave something behind and then want it back later. If you don't take it, I think you've, you've given up rights to it. Hmm. I mean... I guess, maybe, but like also it's an alarm clock uh, and if no one's using the room as a bed, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't think, I think my parents wouldn't mind if that was, you know, something. There's not much space for a picture in here, but I'll do it for now. Yeah, well, it could also probably go living room. Could do. Let's put the socks away and orientate all of them the same way. So you can see. And then a separate underwear drawer. Because I know what underwear is now. I just assumed this woman didn't own any underwear. Very daring. But, you know, reminds me reminds me of prom night. Um, I'm super into my oh, incense. Little candle. Oh, that's so It goes cute. inside. I assume that's supposed to be a bedroom thing. And then a spare one mm -hmm. down here. When that lots of spare ones. They can stack, which is nice. Uh, bras that I forgot to bring home last time. But, actually, unless I can... We know this woman has terrifyingly small amounts of underwear. Hopefully we can double up the bra storage space. Yeah, I, I'm going to doubt that. But Well, we'll have to flip pig say. Oh, this is much easier to deal with. She's got way more grown-up dresses now, too. Very nice. Lots of dresses. She still keeps this thing, which I've always said is camping or yoga mat, but people were saying I was wrong. I don't know. It feels like a, it, I mean, a yoga mat feels like something you would use regularly if you are. There you go. I mean, give 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 them their own. There's the pig. Oh, the pig's been patched. Look. Oh. They've used the sewing equipment that was in the room mm -hmm. to fix the pig. Well, some people. Or were maybe that maybe the parents have fixed the pig. They were saying that about the sewing... Some people in chat were saying that before about the sewing machine, but I would fix something like that by hand, not with a machine. I'm not sure that would be... That doesn't really make sense to me, but... Right, this is going... I'm putting the, the hanging hangers 
like for skirts, like this style of... I don't know what the name for this style of hanger is versus this style of hanger. That's a hanging hanger. That's a clippy hanger. There's probably an actual name for them. Yes. But I don't know what that name is. Me either. Uh, so that's all. Oh, that's very fancy. Mmm, it's nice. It's, it's... Okay. It kind of looks like a chicken. <laughs> it's like a chicken. It's like a, it's like a tiny chicken. <laughs> Amazing. Um, hey, hey. You know, if we're all, we're gonna, that, I want to get back out of the dating scene. Hey, baby. I'm a chicken. What about that orange? Uh, is that a nice top? Uh, Yeah, that was like a jumper. I felt like that didn't really need hanging. I felt well, like do that... we know if it's a blouse or if it's an... It doesn't look like a knit. Uh, it looks a bit old and scruffy to me. I think that's not a oh, waste to hang on. I think that's being folded up like the cardigan. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need to wait for a hanger to become available for that. That's a nice dress. See, that's going instead. That's a nice oh, dress. Oh, yeah, fair enough, fair that's enough. That's a much Blouse. nicer dress yeah. right there. Jeans definitely do not need to be hung up. That's fine. And speak of the devil, there is a new Clippy McJibble. Yeah, somebody said uh, pants hangers is what they normally call them. Yeah, but on this occasion, we're not using them for pants. In fact, we're explicitly excluding the pants. It's just skirts. Oh, this game's so nice. Yes, uh, people so in nice. chat are agreeing with me that it looks like a nice blouse mm -hmm. that you would... Uh... All right, fine. It can be hung as apparently I've, I've actually bothered to get plenty. Oh, no, that looks like a nicer blouse to me. That's yes, definitely being hung. but you have enough hangers now. Uh -huh. Yeah, apparently I went and bought enough hangers at some point. So that's, that's good. Uh, am I going to be able to fit three pairs of shoes on this one thing. It looks like it. Yes, just. Okay, now that's definitely an old scruffy yes, McJibble. That's, definitely a, a that's an old McJibble. scruffle. That's an old scruffle that's going away. Uh, that needs to go over to here. And I think this just fits there. Yeah, three nice, on a nice, row. Nice. That bag can go in the cupboard as well. I think that's a fold away. Uh, and that is a sock. Yes. There we go. I'm getting... But you, 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 you've just used up all the space in those drawers because no, no, there's more space no, than that. No, John, move the bra to their own drawer. <laughs> no, the, no, because then they'd be an excessively large drawer. It's like kind of wishful thinking. <laughs> you don't need your bras to be in a drawer this tall. I'm sorry, your chest is not that big. Okay, well, it's not. It's not. I'm not okay. Sock. Yes. Yes. Jeans. Nope. They need to wait till I'm ready to do that. I'm just going to do the rest of the... Underwear. Yes. Yes! That's pyjamas. Yeah, or workout. That looks pyjama to me. And... Underwear. Mm-hmm. That's matching pyjamas. Yeah, look at that. That's definitely pyjamas. It's got a matching thing. That's, yeah, definitely. That's cut like that. Underwear. No. No sock. Uh, that was a misclick. I mean, people are saying that... Uh, oh, rainbow sock. Ooh, very nice. Rainbow sock. Uh, people are saying that the underwear and socks fit in the same drawer. Mm -hmm. uh, presumably meaning that then you could have the bra, the bras in one of the small drawer drawers. And then you could have the... Um... I'm not sure I like this, this cardigan. It's a bit... The colour's not great. Yeah, but... But, um... Shit, hang on. No, that's that's the exact... What colour is that? It It is the exact grey-brown colour of that particular jacket you're thinking of. I yeah. can't see it. This is the exact... For those of you who are curious, I'm slightly colourblind. That is the exact... And that's pretty much bang on a shade I can't properly see. Uh, so I don't think I'm seeing what everyone else... What, what, no, tell me precisely what colour that is. Because I'm not seeing it. It's a... It's a... It's a light... It's a light brown with a grey undertone. I can't see the brown. You're just seeing it as grey. Yeah. But I recognise it's the shade of grey that means it's not actually grey. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I can't see it. I can't okay. see this. I'm, I'm slightly colour blind. So you can put the socks and under the socks and the knickers in the same uh, small drawer. Yeah. And then you can put the bra, the bras in the other small drawer. And then in the big drawer, you can put... Uh, you know, trousers and, and t-shirts and and stuff like that, like actual clothes. But I've got way enough space. I don't need to anymore. I don't mm. need to do that. I, I, I've got... Yeah, but you might want to store something that's not clothes on on there. 
Like whenever I think you just going in the living room. I can't think. I don't know if it's like. Actually, you no. Know no, I think workroom. Yeah. I think study for People now. Were that. That's going there for now. We'll figure it out. And I've moved the book to here, as as well. That's that's the starting point, right there. People that's... are saying a dark beige, a khaki brown. Mm-hmm. Mm. We can't see, so I don't know. Can I actually use the? No, I can't put. I've not brought food I can put away in the fridge and freezer. Unfortunately, I've still got all my terrible stuff from previously. I've got my terrible... Is that a rice cooker, you think? Well, I was thinking either a rice cooker or um, or a slow cooker. Hmm. Hang on, I've got the knives the wrong way around. Also, do not to be knife, fork? I feel like knife, fork, spoon is the correct. I feel like that's correct. I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. I, think I'm, I think I'm okay with that. And I'll rearrange the cupboards later. I just need to know how much I've got. Before I decide I'm putting that away. That's coffee, right? Yeah, it looks Clipped like it. coffee, yeah. So I'm going to keep that out and close by to the cafetiere thing. That's what that's called. Yeah, that is what that's called. But you should put that on the first shelf. Yeah, but I'll, I'm, I'm deciding. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll rearrange once I've actually got it all in play. And I just need to know what... Yeah, people are assuming uh, mini crock pot slash slow cooker. A oh, well, crock pot? What's a crock pot? It's, a, well, it's the US name for a slow cooker. Uh, what's the etymology of that? Because a slow cooker is called a slow cooker because it cooks slowly. I think it might be a brand thing. I'm not sure. Do they um, cook crocodiles in it? No. But you can cook crocodile. Check whether the etymology of crock pot is for the cooking of crocodiles. No. Slowly. No. Um, so fine. fine, well, I guess I'll have to do it myself. Okay. Do well. you cook crocodiles in a crock pot? Uh, so I, I type, do you cock crocodiles in a crock pot? Can you slow cook crocodile? Yes! You okay. put it in, you put crocodile in a slow cooker and cook on high for two hours. The crocodile will be firm like chicken breast. You can cook crocodile in a crock pot. Boom! Crock pot is a brand name. Oh, it's a brand. Yeah, and it's crock with a K at the end. C-K. Uh, it it's short for crockery. Uh-huh. I'm just... I, I, I think we've all learned something about crocodile. Now, if you're ever stuck on, you know, a deserted island with only a crocodile... And a crock pot and, 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 electri and electricity, yeah. Yeah, 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 like like a little yeah, yeah, yeah. exercise bike that's plugged into your crock pot. You know what to do. You cook that crocodile on a high for two hours, and boom, you've got a meal. Claire wouldn't look it up, so I need to look that up for myself. But now we know. Now we know. <laughs> yeah, that's a coaster. Excellent. Oh, multiple coasters. Can we stack them? Yeah, we want to stack them. Do I have a little table in the... I do have a tiny table in here, but I feel like you can't eat in the living room. Not with the current state. I think you've got to eat at this table in the di in the, I mean, uh, in the kitchen. I mean, it is very funny that you're saying that like we don't eat There's no sofa. The table. There's no sofa. It's different. You can't eat on a bean bag. That's difficult to do. Mm-hmm. You can't really do that. That's that's extremely tricky. <laughs> that's different to eating on like a sofa. Right. Got plenty of space here. Could put my baking stuff together. Oh, like um hoisin sauce or something, right? That's soy. Yeah. Soy sauce, yeah. Yeah, that's um I like how recognizable some of the like you can literally recognize the brands despite the Okay, so that goes in a drawer. Is that baking powder baking paper? Yeah. Yeah, baking paper by the looks of it. Yeah, this is going to be my baking drawer up top. I'm assuming I'm into fridge magnet. No, for once I was wrong. Can you, can you? No, those are baking. Those are actually cookie cutters. No. Put, put it on the other side, John. Put what on the other side? Put the oil on the side near the hob. Sorry, you're saying I should put the thing, which if it falls off and breaks, would start a massive oil fire next to the thing that starts an oil fire. No. Dumb. You put this on the away. You, you put should this put away. the oil next to the stove because that's where you're cooking. Okay. Here's 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 a record. Here's, here's, here's oh my life's finally getting better. I sure hope nothing happens to crash. Oh my god, my face is on fire and I can't put it out because it's an oil fire. I better splash water on it because I'm not thinking slightly because I'm on fire. Ah, the situation has got even worse. Why, Claire? Why? We would That's like 
why we don't do that. Extend our apologies to the people wearing headphones. Yeah. And also to anybody in doubt as to John's extreme levels of hypocrisy. <laughs> yes, we do have a bottle of cooking oil right by the stove in the kitchen. Because that's where we use it. That's different. That is different because we don't have this style of hob. Our style of hob wouldn't be able to start an oil fire if you were to... I'm sorry, what style of hob do you think that is? It doesn't have a flame. That's true, actually. That's uh, the old-style metal electric yeah. swirly, isn't it? Could that start a fire? I feel like that could start a fire. <sighs> God. I've, I think I've bought some matching mugs. Look, I've got little mugs here. That's cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've bought some little mugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah I bought them. Make a distraction, John. Why don't you? There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I've got my little... Yep, salt and pepper can go on the table. <laughs> Lisa says, ah, oh, Cessna crashed into my house while I was setting myself on fire while cooking. <laughs> Look, I'm just still mildly concerned about the Cessnas. All right, just a little bit. Look, what is that? Oh, my God. Is that an egg timer? Yes. That could go next to the hob because that doesn't set my face on fire. Ooh. There we go. That's absolutely fine. You were supposed, by the way, to say, I don't know. I want, you, I want you to know that I said to Claire ahead of time, don't worry, sometimes if we're not sure what thing is, we'll put it to the chat, which will give Claire a chance to read donations. But she, she keeps saying what they are. Yeah, but you didn't say if you know you should lie about it to give time. You said if we don't know and we know. Uh-huh. There we go. I'm going to line all this stuff right here. One plus two. But what will that equal? Who knows? We just can't be sure. Actually, in the absence of upper things, I feel like I should stack my plates up here. Because I don't want you, you, want, you don't want your plates down here. No. No. So I feel like plates need to be stacked up, uh, stacked up here. Especially but. since, um, especially since uh, it's a bit of a scruffy place. That you know, you don't know. Top, yeah. Bit of I've a scruffy apartment I've... on the ground floor. You don't want to, um, yeah. I think I've actually bought new a new set of cutlery too. Uh, that can go right at the bottom, like a little. Actually, yeah, I you know what? It's next to the oven, so it might. I as well. might put that if I could no. do. Uh... You can't. It's gonna take way too much space. You're wrong. Yeah. There okay. We go. Fine. You shouldn't. It's uh -huh. gonna take way too much space. And I'll keep this away from I mean... the catching fire thing. Look, I feel like I'm just taking fire safety more seriously than you. Yeah, I'm taking being able to clean my kitchen because I've got, you know, kitchen towel. Mm-hmm. Are you just going to put nothing in the cupboards? I'm putting, stuff, I'm putting this in the cupboard. I've been waiting for these to show up. Just been waiting for all this. Mm -hmm. Just goes one more in right there. They all stack. And my slightly chipped old... Oh, that's so cute. They're getting chipped now. Uh, That gets hung right. Oh, that's cute. That can I have... Yeah. Enough space. Yep. Nice. Enough space for two. Chopping board could just stay out, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I've got no problem with the chopping board just being out. Fridge that is... magnet. It's cool up. Some more Aussie stuff. And one plus two equals I love koalas. I mean, fair. And the little thing I put. I bet my. You know, this this little kind of cheap plastic right thing. I bet my boyfriend was so unimpressed when he came home and I'd stuck that to the size of his fancy fridge. I bet he took that straight down. He took that straight down. John vetoed us having one of those in the kitchen. I thought they... Uh, look, I just think they look a little bit naff. All right. I just thought they look a bit naff. Equals... Three koalas. Is there a... One plus... Okay, so... Okay, we need to change this. We need to, we need to change this now. We need to get this right here. Please get to... No. Well done. Doesn't add, you can't actually uh, irritatingly. It's not wide enough. Actually, unless you could use the side, can you use the side over here? Oh, you can. Oh yeah. Now we can do it. Now, now we can do it. We need. We just need to. We need to put it right over. We need stuff needs to move out the way to make room for this. This is highly important. One plus three equals koala. There we go. I've I just picked up the bright spark achievement. Brilliantly solved. And there we go. The the square root of star is love. There we go. 
Nice. Love, star, love, heart. One plus three equals koala. Excellent. Right, a few more basics to pop away here. Though the salt can go next to the stove, because that doesn't cause me to die. So that's fine. Claire. <sighs> Long bedraggled sigh. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, shout out to you, uh, for thee, my lord, I bring pancakes. So you gave us two euros and says, oof, there's a lot to unbox there. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> dear, oh dear. And uh, ooh, congrats to Zach, who gave us five pounds and says, uh, small brag, I now have 21 working days off work. Uh, Sweet. John and Claire, remember to look after yourselves. I take one day off a week these days. Yeah, you do. You do indeed. What are you doing? It's the most sensible place. Okay, that's not the best place for the toaster. I like the microwave. I think the microwave has to go on top of the fridge freezer. Yeah, I think that might not be... You might not be able to put it anywhere else. Uh, yeah, you might need to put... This the, need to move. These might need to move up onto the shelf to make room yeah. for these two things next to each other. Yeah, I mean that's because that's where the plugs are at. You, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, better. away from the splash. The the kettle's gonna be safer to splash than the toaster is. Yes, indeed. Uh, so I'd say squeeze that over there. That's that's acceptable to make. That's acceptable. These might need to go up on the shelf. And even though, as you say, you might want the coffee on the lower shelf, I think possibly you want the plates and bowls to hand here and the mugs. So I feel like actually. The coffee and that needs to go up here. And I just got a cookie sticker. I don't know why. A sometimes food. I think it's ah, because I put the cookie on the, the top shelf. I put the cookies on the top shelf rather than accessible. I put them all out of the way because I'm grown up now. And oh, oh there you go. I'm, you I'm extra. I'm really Jewish in this place. Okay, John. Yes. I don't think that. I mean, I don't know. People well, I've never, I, I've never owned one of these before. But uh, yeah, I, I suppose a menorah normally would go in the living room. Uh, I mean, hang on. What when? What time is it now? And when is when is menorah time? Uh, well, what time is it now? January. It's January. When is menorah time? Uh, I think it's in December. I think that can go up top, like on top of this cupboard. It's like a display piece because it's not currently in use. Yeah. I think that's a, that's an acceptable place for it. Mm. I'd say that that works. I feel like we don't have enough space in the kitchen for the menorah to yeah, be on display all the time. Yeah, but I also just think it doesn't go in the kitchen in general. There's my menorah match. They have special matches. Is that a thing? I don't think they have special matches, but given you don't have, you don't have. Uh... You're gonna need matches because there's candles. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're not special. They're just. Well, literally, like a, it's got like a menorah written on it. Look, look at the, the box. Well, I know. It's menorah matches. Maybe there's special matches. It's like a special type of match you need to use to light the menorah. That could be a thing. That's reasonable. It is reasonable, but it could also just be that you bought them alongside the menorah and they're normal candles, but with like. You know, branding. Can I put this inside? Uh, that? Folks are saying the pots could go on the cook stove. They could. They could, I suppose. I mean, I feel like that's a little bit. Oh, those know. are the candles. They're not the. They're not matches. They're just the candles. Eh. Yeah. Okay, hang on. We need to find the right orientation for this. That can go on. This is unacceptable because it won't sit straight on any of them. Okay, it kind of sits straight there. That's okay. I think it's dumb that I've got the handles over the other heated element, which bugs me, but uh, it, it, it is what it is. There's some fairy liquid to go right here. Do I have a little draining thing? I've got a squidgy. I've got a squidgy and spare squidgies in case of problems. Uh, sadly, I can't put anything on top of the microwave, which feels... It's very high. It's I... very high. Yeah, okay, we're going to put that out of the way until I decide where I want it to go. Can I stack? Yeah, two trays stuck on top oh, of each other. That makes more sense, at least. But the, goes um, there. I think the candle should go next to the menorah, or like. On yeah, the I agree. One. I agree. Where did I just put them? In the drawer that was just open when I was talking about it. Yes, I agree. Then again, I don't think you need them on a day-to-day -day basis. I think they go in here, like with the stuff, with like the spare stuff I and stuff. You don't need that much. I think 
maybe, but I think it's also possible that since it's like a sacred religious item, you don't want it with your cleaning products. But the matches are just... Oh. Don't, it's candles. It's not the matches, it's candles, people are saying. Okay, I guess we'll put the sacred religious item not next to the spare squidgy. There you Though go. to me, the spare squidgy is a religious item. I really enjoy squidgies, and yes, a fresh squidgy is brilliant. Her. A fresh squidgy is brilliant. Okay, if people are saying, uh, fix the microwave, can it go on one of the shelves? I mean, yes, but what would you move in order to make that happen? I don't see, unless I was to put like a huge amount of. I mean, I guess now I've moved them to here, I could move all the... Well, no, you'd want to do the but you plates. Want them, you want them displayed. Now, I don't want the plates in here. I don't want the plates down bottom. You don't put plates and bowls down. You put them up or you put them out on the shelf. I definitely want them out on the shelf. 100% mm -hmm. I do. Now, in theory, I could rearrange... Okay, I think I could rearrange the coffee and the tea to be way more squidged together. In order to have this stuff up top. This bowl could go out the way. No, it can't. This bowl cannot go out the way. Um, it's going in there for now. Hang Why? on. I'm just, just rearranging. Just rearranging. Oh, there, you you go. Go. there we yes. go. That's better. That's rearranged. Uh, that creates a whole bunch of space here. Which allows us to put the soy and the oil around here. That feels... Yeah, that feels weird. I know, but I'll rearrange it slightly to see if there's space. There we go. That that does feel better now that that's there. Well, then so maybe the big, big pots on top of the fridge. Only one. Well, but that's because the crock pot needs plugging in. Mm, possibly, yeah. And then we'll put you two guys next to each other. You can just kind of squidge along here. And now these can now spread. Actually, we'll put these two a little bit more close together. And that lets me spread out the tea and coffee stuff a little bit more. And that does actually work a little bit better. So I'm pretty happy with that. Though I might just slightly shuffle some of this stuff around a little bit. Claire, while I'm just having a think, including the spices in particular. Yes, indeed. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, Emma gave us five Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, hey, John and Claire. Uh, John, you should check out Let's Build a Zoo. I think you might like it. You build a zoo. Economy, management, that sort of thing. I have heard some positive things, and I've had code for a while. I know the lads who uh, handles the uh, handles code distribution quite well at No More Robots. Um, I may well squeeze it at some point. It does look cute. Uh, so, yeah, that could definitely show up sooner at some point or another. I don't have an exact date in mind, though. Uh, yes, indeed. And let's see, from a mooing bastard, uh, who gave us uh, 16 euros and 7 cents. Mm -hmm. And so somehow the, la the latest podcasts made both Matt and Dan seem smarter than John. <laughs> to fix that... Disagree. To fix that, here's the price of Stickman's Guide to How Things Work. Uh, I'd imagine you actually like it. No affiliation. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, Mooing Bastard. Uh, I st Problem is, I need to get the fridge magnets out now, because otherwise they're trapped. Mm. I don't want the fridge magnets trapped. I'll just sort this out. It's got it's to all be right. Cute. Now this could go up here, and this can now go up a little bit higher, which makes a bit more sense anyway. Mm. So, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. If you wanted the fridge magnet on all the same line, you could probably just go underneath now. The... What? It could probably go underneath the... Um... You mean here? Well, A, it That's could go here. That's too low down, I don't like it. But, I was saying the fridge magnets on one line could go underneath the little board that you write your groceries on. I guess... I mean, maybe it's too crowded. I'm, ha I'm, ha I'm happy with there. it being on the front over here. I'm happy with that over here. Right, I think that works as a starting what point. What is next to a toaster that's a kettle or and an egg timer? Yeah, kettle I and egg timer. I feel like you might want to 
I would personally yes. move the coffee things onto the surface. Claire, you would personally put the coffee things onto an IV drip to feed it directly into your veins. Well, yes, but also what's the point of having a kettle and then you don't have your tea and coffee things next to it? Because tea is the actual important one and the coffee stuff's just boring and pointless so it just stays on the top shelf out the way. Well, I'm role-playing this you. woman as a tea drinker. I hate to break it to you, but she has a bag of, like, coffee, and then coffee, and then a grinder, and no tea. Mm -hmm. So, you know. This... She has a bag of actual coffee beans, and a coffee grinder. Nope, she's into tea. That's biscuits, John. No, nope, it's tea in a biscuit thing. That's what it is. You can't prove uh, otherwise. Yeah, and people are saying maybe the egg timer in a drawer to make space on the counter. Mm-hmm. I feel like the egg timer stays out. I feel like the egg timer definitely stays oh, out. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with where we are right now. Mm -hmm. Right, so we've actually got... Ah, we're finally to... Uh, yes, the, the living, room and office. living room, I'd say. This is the office last. That's kind of a special one. Ah, we've got display space for my shit now. Still got the leaning tower and uh, the Eiffel Tower right there. And I still don't know what that is precisely, but I had it previously. Now, any chance we have got the next Game of Thrones? Is, is Game of Thrones uh, Book 4 finally present? Oh, I've picked up a little windmill thing. I feel like that belongs next to one. Yeah, I feel like maybe you went to Holland things. or something. Yeah, possibly. And we'll have the bigger, chunkier books over here. That is, it's not one because it doesn't have a number written on it. There's no number written on it. I've had that. I don't know what that is, but I've had it for bloody ages. Peter Pan, I'm guessing. Yeah, based on from the, PP and the moon with yeah, flying and in front. silhouette flying and whatnot. It might be like something that inspired you if it's an illustrated book. Could well when be. When you were a kid. Still we got the GameCube. A... And, oh, and a Wii. We've, we've picked up the Wii. Okay, so I feel like we'll need to see yeah, which which fits where precisely and how many Wii motes and etc. I've got. That is. A Wii, that's Wii Sports. That'll be Wii Sports, yeah. That'll be Wii Sports. That's GameCube. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I was not. No, I wasn't sure what that one was because some of them are recognised. Well, that's Pokemon Coliseum. That is Pokemon that, Coliseum. Isn't that Zelda? I don't think so. Wind Waker didn't look like that. But you're right. That doesn't look like a sword. But from the typeface and the coloration, I'd have said that's Coliseum. That's Mario Kart. That's 100% Mario Kart Double Dash. That one I'm not sure about. I've got way more. Uh, I mean, no offense, many people bought a Wii, just got Wii Sports, and never got anything else with mm -hmm. it. So, that's perfectly reasonable. Those could all go next to each other or close by to each other. I am not sure. Like, the coloration, that does not feel like Wind Waker to me. Yeah, that had a boat on the front. I thought it looked, it looked wrong. Yeah, but like... Look at the look at the look at the font you were saying like I mean I But that... it's got a sword on the front. It can't be Wind Waker. Oh, but Zelda famously doesn't have anything to do with swords. I wonder if that's actually like Sim No, that's Simpsons Hit and Run! Look up Simpsons Simpsons Hit and Run front cover. That's the Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh I think. Uh which was totally on GameCube. Yeah. Look at that! That's the Simpsons hit run! I think it is! Oh! He's pointing at it, by the way. I think I, f I think I figured it out. I think we figured it out. We can just fit my GameCube collection right here, which is great. Definitely Zelda. People are saying it's definitely Zelda. What the shit is this weird hand thing? Oh, I've got into the occult. I've murdered my boyfriend and used his blood to something, something, something my soul. I mean... Oh, hang on, that's a display thing for my... Ooh. Oh, that's lovely. It could go next to the telly. Yeah, no, I mean, don't put, but don't put it somewhere where you can't, like, access it easily. Mm -hmm. If it's a thing that you want to, like, actually learn and use regularly. Well, earth, we can't put that next, unless it's going on the ground, but yeah, I'm guessing it won't I'm be allowed. I don't think it'll be allowed. I think the game will be like, no. I mean... I think the game will 100% be no. That, that is... No, that's music. So that goes next to my other music book here. And you know, I'm having I'm having two separate layers of books here. These are like fictiony books, and these are music books. All my music books are going next to each other. And that is that's Metro Prime, which doesn't fit Oh no, now there's now they don't all fit on one line. Boo. Boo I say. Right, remote control. Right there. That is DVDs. Okay, we've got DVDs coming in. So we need to have 
Oh, no. No, I can't have DVDs and GameCube games. How many are they going to be? We need to figure out how many there are before we make decisions about that. There is a DVD box. But no, 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 no. The, the GameCube's coming. Okay, you guys need to chill out up here. It's the space for the DVD player. And that's up. That's 100% up, isn't oh, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And that is Matrix? Yeah, maybe. Don't know. Not sure. The Why Hobbit? Um, or Lord of the Rings, I guess. Could be. It doesn't look like it, but it looks like it could be like Bilbo with a sword. What the heck is this thing? Uh, I don't like a music know. player? Like a little portable music player? Yeah, I don't know. This is weird. I don't know what that is. Oh, here we go. Book one. Book two. Book three. Come on, George. Don't let us down. Nintendo DS. Add some DS games. Yeah, I mean, you know, I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> In this universe, George has just died. He died before he got to the end of book three. Uh, it's no or he's just writing other shit that's not that. Uh-huh. Well, no one wants... Oh, she painted it! Oh. She painted the bards! Oh. Claire, she's painted oh, it! No, it's so cute! It's going on the desk. That's... In that's, that's That's not going displayed in the living room. That's a personal thing that's being displayed in the office, I think. I think that's what that is. And... Is that a... I think the notebooks and the music books could go, like, uh, in the bottom shelf. And then the fiction book. I kind of, I kind of feel like that. I almost want in the office. I feel mm. like that's that's. I feel like the like the the books like this that's like binded that feel like worky stuff. They go. Uh, people are saying. Um, people are saying. Uh, it looks like a wireless, like a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, Could the be thing, the blue thing. Okay. Yeah. Possible. Possible. That's reasonable. More DVDs. Daria. I was about to say, is that Juno? But okay, fine. Well, I think Juno only had one person on the cover. Yeah, fair enough. Is that like a laundry hamper, do you think? Yeah, or maybe... I was going to say either a laundry hamper or like a... Do you think more logical place for laundry hamper is bathroom or bedroom? Bedroom? I think bedroom... What, you might be able to just put it in the cupboard as well, which would look neater. Yeah, there's plenty of space for it. Mm. Just go in there. So we'll see how, how they feel about that. I feel like the cupboard, like on the uh, under the bed, everything goes. That's like you free. That's your free space mm. right there. So I think that's okay. Right. Well, books are still going in order in the hope that at one point George or R. R. Martin will pull his finger out of his ass and actually bother writing something. Useless bastard. I feel like this might be a graphic novel collection, by the way, because look, they've all got the same thing. Yeah, that's cute. That feels like that might be a graphic novel collection, I think. Though, I don't see numbers, so I, I don't know which order they're supposed to all, uh, all be uh, in. People are saying too thin for laundry hamper, it looks like an umbrella stand. Mm -hmm. But also, like, it's weird to have an umbrella stand. Uh, people are saying the hand could go on the wall as a display piece. Eh... It's almost like a turn away the evil eye, like Greek idea. It's weird. Mm. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. But in which case, hang it in the... Well, actually, in which case, you'd hang it on the door. Uh, or mm. above the door. There we go. So that keeps evil out. It wards off evil. Yeah. It's, it's a Greek concept, perhaps. I mean, it all, it's a... I, I mean, I think it looks almost like a hand of Fatma, but I mm -hmm. don't know. Uh, so that could go there. Uh, do I have a bedside table? Uh, yes. I do. So in which case, my DS and games are going in that. Uh, and I can move the entire stack in one go, which is very bloody convenient. Uh, though I might need to restack them a little bit, uh, on the way. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take the DS. The DS and the games are going in the bedside, uh, table. I feel like that's the ah! acceptable place for that. The hands are on the door to ward off ex-boyfriends. <laughs> Amazing. Seems reasonable to me. And can we squeeze in? Gosh darn it. The games already want me to do this. They don't fit properly. Yeah, and also you shouldn't play games in bed. Where is she going to play them? This is a handheld game. You're not going to play... On the couch? 
you've got you, you've got consoles right there. You've got the consoles right there. You wouldn't play the bigs. You've got your consoles. Speaking of which, where is my bloody GameCube? Oh, it might have been an umbrella container. Might have been for my umbrella and, and cane, yeah. And my cane. Okay, that's no. Uh, there's also, I guess that goes there, because there's nowhere else to go. Oh, I've, little dragon. I've brought the dragons with me, which I hadn't done previously. The yeah, but you those... have room now. I've got some room. I've not got a huge amount of, like, shelving space in here to, like, display well, them in my bedroom. Well, you put the dragon in your office. You could display stuff in your office, though, I'll so that you put see them on the bed time. for now. Yeah, I took, oh, it looks like when I left my, my parents' house, I took all the cuddlies I didn't take previously with me. Now, I kind of want the chicken to be displayed here. Look, I know that people are saying handhelds can be played in bed. What I'm saying is John specifically would uh, throw a little fit. Oh! oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> They're getting displayed along the front. They're getting displayed yeah, along the top here. Very That's cute. what's happening. She just keeps buying... Where did she buy all these chicks from? Oh, and we're missing one as well. I think there'll be one in a different box. Yeah, I think there'll be the one in a different, different box. There we go. So that goes behind there. These are my Jewish chickens. There it is. There's one right oh, there. there you go. There we go. Do I want to have the the order set with the egg? I feel like I want the order to be like that. I, don't, I want that order. Yeah, I feel That's like... Cute. I think I, I think it might be... This might have been for my umbrella and cane. So I'm not sure what's happened in the interim time and whether I mean, we'll be able know, to detect that. It is that. possible. Uh, it is simply possible that uh, it was an invisible disability that we haven't seen until now. If so, you'd expect to have maybe seen some a cane previously. Or maybe it's some been like tiger bomb and some pain, some back pain thingies. Well spotted. Yeah. I did not consider that good spot. Mm-hmm. No, uh... just put them in the damn thing. But okay, that's not. I guess yeah. Well, is that a Game Boy or is that a music player? That's this is an MP3 player I've had for cooking yonks. Yeah, so don't put that in your bedside table if you want to have the games. Yeah, put I guess maybe that else. could be. I could listen to music while doing art. That's reasonable. Yeah, that makes sense. So that makes sense. That could go. That could go there. So this is now looking pretty good. Maybe I'll put this more in the corner. A little bit out the way, so it doesn't like block the entrance to the room as you're walking in. Then again, I suppose you want to somewhat close the door, so you've got your cane available as yeah, you're going in and you, out. If you, yeah. So that's that strikes me as uh, as reasonable. Maybe that's why you've gone for a slightly larger space than you might strictly need. Maybe, Ooh, maybe you, if you struggle to move. Maybe that's why you're on your ground floor flat. It doesn't look like ground floor to me. Looking at the angle, if I'm if I'm upright now and I'm looking down into this room from the ceiling, so it's an isometric top-down view. That feels like I would not be able to see the road like that if I was on the ground floor. Well, that feels like that's at least rooms, first though. floor. Because it feels like in the living room, I thought. I mean, it just was consider the perspective. That's not no, no, ground floor. I know what you're saying, John. I know what you're saying. I'm just saying, look at the living room. I'm literally above like trees. I guess, it's I don't tree. know, I thought that looked like a... That's top of a tree. Yeah, fair enough. I thought I'm at it least looked second like, floor a base, here. like a basement or, or ground floor, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, no, that's def no, I'm definitely not. You can zoom high. in with pluses and minuses. Mm -hmm. uh, on the keyboard, I think. Yes, I... Oh. Boo. Uh, I'm not seeing it now, anyway. Uh, but well, that's fine. Ali was saying you can zoom in, uh, and usually she's right about things. But mm -hmm. that's fine. Well, I see there's these. With I see there's these ah, if you want to. Ah, so that wasn't on the keyboard. That'll be good for you know when you can't like figure out what something is. If you just look at well, it's still gonna it's just you gonna can be look more. At it closer. Yeah, but you can't like do the start of this it. like zoom in and enhance. It's like no, I can't because that's not how anything works. Yeah, but it'll still be a lot easier to see things. Like, is this a D twenty? Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. So they, they could just, uh, all the cuddlies could be on the bed uh, for now. They could just all chill out together once again. With the exception of, wasn't one missing? Wasn't there another one? Yeah, but you still have a whole room of boxes. That's true. There might be another cuddly toy that's been, that's got a bit mixed up. There's my laptop. For once, I don't actually have to have them on top of each other. I can have my drawing pad and my laptop separate, which is nice. And yeah, my typography art box and my book. typography yeah. books. Uh, yep, yeah, drawing. 
I feel like that, you know, art in general could all go together. I've finally got space for all my shit. Loving it. Flipping loving it. And I've drawn... Is that the same as was in the it, frame? It looks like you've just coloured it, yeah. I think it's... Yeah, it's. it looks like I was... I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same as what was on the pin board previously. Mm. But it might have been a drawing of my pig toy that I've had with me the whole time. Yeah. And more, okay, I'm getting a bit, now I'm a bit w worried. I think I might need to speak to a therapist about my obsession with pigs. Well, you might be developing a product. Mm hmm. Yeah, but the, the problem is, pigs have so little money. Like, <laughs> the response rate on advertising to pigs is so bad because they're shit at, like, using the internet. So it's, it's a bad idea, Claire. Hey, this... hey, hey, John. Yeah. Did you know that you can uh, switch the radios on? What radios? Well, presumably that speaker that we just found in the living room. Maybe uh, another radio somewhere else. Please let us know in chat, Arturo. I don't see it. I don't see a way of turning on the radio there, but all right. Uh, right. Back to where we were. That looks like an arty book to yeah, me. Yeah, anatomy. Yeah, drawing anatomy. Oh, maybe she's making a comic about her childhood uh, pig toy. She could be. That's, That's true. One. Maybe she's about to invent Peppa Pig and become a billionaire. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Live the next time. <gasps> whale. There's a whale. Hello, whale. Can you zoom in? We've established I can, but it looks worse if you zoom in because it's just super pixelated. Yeah, but it's cute. Maybe it's an incense whale. Yeah, I was wondering if it was something, some bathroom product, you know. Also, the layers are kind of weird when you zoom out. Mm. They kind of, yeah, the perspective shifts a little bit. It's kind of weird. There's. Oh, do you think there might be a salted pepper shaker or something? I think it might be bookends. I think they're bookends. Oh, maybe. I think they're bookends. I'm going to put them on here for the time being and we'll see if I. Uh... Not that you need bookends in this game because books just never fall over. Mm -hmm. They just they just don't do that. So I put my naked picture of myself because I'm just into myself like that. Like a bit too into myself. And plants. I don't know if you're recovering from dating that guy you need to like you know and there's a, a, uh, have a, a good uh... oh it's my dead beetle my Aww. beetle went to heaven my beetle died my beetle 100 oh, percent so died sad. that is that's definitely what happened there the beetle uh the beetle died and went to heaven so i drew a picture of the beetle oh having... my god that's so... okay can you can you go up then so my rhino see... beetle is dead so we can see, yeah, I guess it does look like a, a feminine form. I think it's naked feminine form in silhouette, reclining. Mm. Uh, Fair yeah, it's my, my beetle has died and gone to beetle heaven. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's very sad. But I, we, we, we shall remember him. Uh, I've got, oh, I've got way more pens now. And I can stack them all on top Good. of each other. And, aha, headphones to go next to MP3 player, which feels like that kind of yeah, very makes nice. sense. All my little ledgers so many sketchbooks are gonna go together so those are my, my books like that that is maybe like drawing an extra how to draw comic books or something yeah maybe or maybe just like an art a book oh an easel very nice uh now i'm wondering whether that goes up there so the space for the easel at the well you want the easel like close by right so yeah. you can use it but maybe, like, maybe... Over here. i mean i guess the space for that there yeah. Maybe you yeah. can go up here, make a little bit of space there. Metronome could just go at the sides. Doesn't need to yeah. be in front of me. Little storage unit. Is that actually usable? I can't actually use those drawers. Also, I like the fact that it looks like it's a dog that's rolling its eyes. It's like, ugh, why isn't it in time yet? Like that. They can stack, obviously. Very nice. Little Ben. Little Ben. Stress ball? Yeah, stress toy. That's stress fun. Ball. That'll be my bathroom towel, because that was missing earlier. So that goes over to... Oh, very nice. Actually, other way around. Because you want that to be in reach when you're stepping out of the bath, don't no. you? No. We... It's too big. It's going to, like, drape on the... That's true. But I feel like you don't want your bath towel to be that far away from the bath. Oh, I yeah. want a bath mat. I need a bath mat. I think... Bath mat! John. Problem solved. Yes? I think that in that case, you grab your towel from the wall... Before you go and have a, a bath and you put it like on the toilet, 
on the closed toilet. Mm -hmm. Printer? Yeah. Which way? That's the right way around, isn't it? No, those are plugs. Yeah. That way around? Yeah, I that's better. So. Yeah, and oh, blimey. I don't that's know what that is. Like a proper scanner? Is that like a, a different type of. A, a better art book? Is that like a different. No, I think that might go with the printer. I think it might be like a high quality scanner so that she can scan in whatever she's drawn. Well, now I don't want this here anymore because I also feel like it fits. It's going between the whales now. There we go. We've got. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm nice. drawing fancy shit. Fancy shit. This needs to go onto the bed, obviously. <laughs> I just want to. I bet there's a little achievement. I wonder if there's an achievement. If you put this under the bed again, is there? Oh, there's no achievement for you have no for you have no soul. I can't believe you do this. <laughs> as hilarious as that would be. Oh, here I am, being empowered and a strong, independent woman recovering from a bad relationship and trauma. Cats. Cats. Oh. Good cats. Well, I'm putting up a lot of my art here. Oh, shit! It's a picture! It's my people! That's me! That's... Oh. I'm a bit worried I might be a furry, though. Why like... should you be worried about that? Also, also, did you notice what the, the mighty steed is? Is it the stag beetle? It's completely my dead stag beetle. Can you zoom in so we can see the picture? I think I'm completely riding my rhino oh. beetle. I'm 100% riding my rhino beetle. I think your friend who had the rhino beetle in the first place is riding the rhino beetle. Ah, that's probably true. This will be the person who was sort of the original owner yeah, that's getting, to weakness, ride the, yeah. uh, getting to ride the rhino beetle. And yeah, the, the beetle. Well, actually, in, fact, in this it looks more like a stag beetle. But like yeah. here it looks more like a rhino beetle, so I'm not sure what type of. I don't know. There we I go. I think it had two pincers when. Uh, when what we what had D and D race is that? Like squirrel girl? I don't know, but people can. That maybe... looks like Elfie in the background. Cause look, they've got they've got uh, clearly yeah. a warrior who rides a mighty beetle steed, an Elfie Bowie sort, and squirrel girl, the bard. Mm -hmm. Clearly, that's that's what that's where we're going. That, that's where we're going right there. Get rid of that. And... Oh, oh a box of cables! Box of cables! Box of cables! You don't know what they're for! Woo! Everybody has one of those. Is that maybe printer paper? Yeah, a ream of printer paper, yeah. A ream of printer paper. No, put, put it in there. Put it in there. And little... I don't know. A little calendar. Modem? Yeah, a that. router or something. Probably want that in the main room. To be honest, like, if it will f even fit anywhere anymore. Maybe I want the D... Like squeeze that in the middle over here. I feel like you want that in the main room. But I feel like I want to rearrange this a little bit. So my D20 could be a bit... I, I feel like your D20 might want to be in the office. I feel like the D20 might want to be in the office. Yeah, I agree. I think the D20 I think the D20 is office material. Next to my little bard sculpture. No, I don't know where it was. Yeah, that's 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 looking good. Little clock. Oh, clock! Yes. Maybe you need to all go over one. So there's space for the clock there. And just about. It's just about okay. Okay. Could you maybe... Oh, so much stuff is unacceptable. The file folder could go in the cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this should be allowed to be on the desk. I mean, okay. So headphones are allowed to be on the desk. But the thing that you play music in isn't. Uh, maybe that does want to go in the bedroom. I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, what, what else have I messed up? The kitchen is... Oh, I did a perfect kitchen. I'm a genius of this game. Okay. that's Maybe that I... wants to go in the office then. Maybe there's not enough... Maybe so you like can no... have better reception where you're working. Yeah, maybe there's no plug there or something. Uh... Yeah, you know how it needs to be a very specific plug for the internet. Yeah. yeah. I even... Oh, lights oh that's up. so Watch cute. Lights up. Watch your lights up. Oh, this game is so Okay. Can that go in like uh yeah, because there was something else you had missed in the bedroom. They can just go in here as well. Weird. That's for sure. apparently that could just that's also hang on. Where's Actually you could use game you know what? I was I was about to say, where's my GameCube? You can actually use GameCube controllers okay, okay, for okay. the way. So then you John, could. John, yeah. John John John, can you put the uh DVD player 
in the bottom cube. Yes, you can. And then can you put the Wii down on top of that? Can no. you rotate it? No. The Doesn't Wii could totally go flat. Mm -hmm. Only your stupid French Wii. Wii's weren't supposed to do that. I mean, they could. Uh-huh. And people, yeah, wanted the Wiimote next to the Wii. People were upset that the Wiimote wasn't next if to the Wii. If it does, then that means the Wii game has to be there, which could mean that goes there. I kind of, and I like the GameCube controllers being out. And there's now the space for me to, like, you know, get the next console when it comes along. The space, and all for me just buy more DVDs. That's fine. Or you could have a speaker in there as okay, well. Okay, fine. I'll take that away. Oh, that is the um, the poison needs, to go, needs to go in the kitchen. Maybe that needs to go in the kitchen. Either yeah. goes to the kitchen under the sink, which is eminently reasonable. Uh, plenty of space for that there. The kitchen was already perfect. That is Except yeah. For that thing. The uh, the evil eye is allowed to yeah. keep my boyfriend, my ex boyfriend away. That's fine. So all this. Okay, fine. So apparently. So apparently the game just agrees with you, which is just... I mean, I'm sorry, but who is always on my case about having phone in the bedroom and stuff? And it's looking bullshit. at harmful blue light and you... Fucking you, bullshit. The you whole point of handhelds is you get to play... Is that you can play them anywhere. Yes, but bullshit. John... Bullshit. Where do you go when you want to play Slay the Spire? Anywhere, because I can pick up the Switch and take it to the living room. Yeah, and you play on the living room on the, the couch. Sofa, yeah. Yeah, so maybe she wants to play in her room. Okay, so she can listen to her MP3. She can get her MP3 player out of her bed to get her, but not the DS. Yes. Bullshit. Because the MP3 player is in blue light o'clock. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, sorry. Shout out to Robin who gave us $5. Uh, and Robin says, hey, uh, both of you, I just moved to Seattle from the UK. Hey, Seattle. The aquarium the aquarium is great. Thanks, John, for the wreck. Hey. Uh, it is nice to have British content during my own unpacking. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, well, welcome. Hope you're having a lovely time. Also, the, the uh, as it's on a stand, the ukulele could go on the ground. Yeah. So that's really nice. And yeah, I put my music book separate from everything else, which seems nice. nice to me. I thought that was the right... Uh, the right solution. And everything else is correct. And well, this I want to now go not on the ground floor, which is fine. And yeah, I think I'll take a photo of my living room and my mm. front door. Whoop. Yes, indeed. And there we go. And there's Phoenix. Phoenix rising Phoenix. from the ashes of that terrible relationship. And I'll figure out where to get a couch from later. Yeah, like we will. Right, so January 2013. How much are we moving forwards? 20, 15, okay, two years. Ooh, are we moving someone else in? It looks like we might be. Oh. That's a first. That's fun. And you've got better furniture. Look at it, you've got... Um... We got. We picked up some of your stuff, like, yeah, a mat for firm, standing firm in the bath. We picked yeah, up some it, new bits Yeah, which pieces. makes sense if you... It need... looks like the game did the best job it could keeping things where I put them, but adding some new stuff um, onto it. Yeah, bedside table on the other side of the bed. Yeah, it is. We're moving oh! to... Though they don't match... Doesn't match. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, you're gonna regret. You're gonna regret me this time when it says that I'm moving the terrible boyfriend back in. Mm, the terrible boyfriend didn't oh, have new that nice many computer. plans. New nice computer. Oh, and you have little toys on top of your monitor. Uh huh. That's so cute. And a new little wireless mouse. Very nice and cute. Yeah, I think I got rid of the old laptop unless it's been put away somewhere. Nah. And the old laptop. I mean, the old laptop had been. I had that for years. Yeah, and there's nothing that's moving into your office because that's just your office. That barn is new. That yeah. must be where they all live. This is this is. It's in the comic series that you write. It's taken me two years to come up with where would the pig live on the farm? Where does the pig live in a aeroplane? No, it feels wrong. The year after that, maybe on a cruise ship. No, it's not quite right. Okay, 2050 so hey, hey, in hey, a barn. Hey. Holy shit, in a barn! Yes. So the chat is speculating as to who may be moving in. Uh -huh. And I think uh, I shared a speculation based on a large amount of stereotypes and plants. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> that... Uh, 
you 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 might be having a girlfriend moving in rather than a boyfriend. Uh huh. Because you had those rainbow socks before as well. That's true. That's true. And looks like this is like herbs for. Yeah, for cooking. That's a good point. Yeah, so that's a herbs. A little for... jar of honey. Problem is she can't she can't bring mugs. There's not enough space for her to bring mugs. Uh, well, that's always the way in it. And oh, hang on. Well, uh, looks like that might be. Yeah, new. I person. can't remember which which of these I am based mm. on. I mean, I don't remember having a really strong streak of red, but I could have added that. That could be di that's going to yeah, be dyed yeah, in, yeah. not natural Ooh, anyway. And you've changed toasters as well. Also, speculation. There's a new photo here of a, a group of people. Could it be a reunion of the same people I lived with straight out of university? Maybe, but it looks like there's. Does it? Does that look like four people to you, not three? That's uh, someone could have brought a partner. Yeah, but what I'm saying is it might be your partner. If so, then it doesn't, it feels like it doesn't quite match. Unless that's me and the partner and me and the partner or vice versa. Yeah, I don't know. I was Possible. just saying that because it looked like someone was wearing a headscarf. I really like how this has been the... done, by the way. How some stuff's been moved, but some stuff has just yeah, stayed. stayed the same. And you have a couch. Yeah. And a new, uh, and a new coffee table and a new, uh piece of furniture in the corner and you shelf yeah but yeah i was wondering if uh that was maybe um you know there's a person with a headscarf in the picture and then you have a hand of fatma above the door um i think people said hamza mm -hmm. um yeah so um yeah why am i moving in someone else's stuff by the way this feels weird because i've always been playing as this one person to date um what is that I don't know. Do you want to zoom in on that? Well, I'm not going to get much more detail, but... Maybe a framed ticket. A ticket? Yeah, if the person's moved to the country to join me. It's possible. Well, a framed... I was going to say a framed, like, a um, concert ticket or something. Now, what on earth are these? Now, what is... Is this? I think this person might be an ancient god, and this is their diploma. Mm -hmm. Right under the. Can I just put all their stuff under the bed? No, can John. I, can I put all their stuff under the bed? Do not be your monster ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I want just want them to come in and literally all their stuff's under the bed. All of it. Uh, a I'm ticket uh, for a concert where you and your partner met uh. at, had your first date, you went on a date at the concert or movie. Uh, okay, they might be into. People are saying the si little succulents might go on a windowsill. Would they? Oh, they do fit there. Oh, that's so cute. They do fit there. That's cute. And uh, maybe they're into film. I'm seeing what looks like that looks like yeah. film strip to me. They might be into film. I'm just trying to get a feel for like an art book. What are these things? Chat. What are these little things? I'm right, waiting for them to catch up. Yeah, Clap. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. People are saying that thing is an award. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. The bread that calls a blame is, uh, gave us five pounds and, uh, says another thing that John got wrong, forgetting that Lol. cosplay exists during the college level and calling that, uh, Sailor Venus cosplay a dress. Mm -hmm. I mean, in fairness, it was a dress, just a Sailor Venus dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can tell I'm not moving in a guy because I'm unpacking cushions. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> And a throw. Can you that put looks that like... on the, Can you put that on like the back or the side of the sofa? Arm? No. Oh, maybe you can that. Go there. Yeah. I like how it looks like a slightly grumpy frog. Okay. Oh, it's got big. It's a big. Got it's a big, big so big side mm. mouth. Uh, right click the stones. Someone was saying. Right. The little things on the right click. Ah. Oh. Okay, I think I get it. If you, when you're holding something, then right-clicking while it's being held activates it. Oh, sometimes anyway. Sometimes it just turns it. Sometimes it does something. All right. So what is that? A little light. It's like a little flower. Okay. Ooh. I I still don't understand what they are though. Uh. Do, 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 do. Right, Let's add see. add this person's umbrella to my umbrella. Snack. Snack. Pro maybe sacred dragon. 
Yeah, but sacred, sacred dragon also snack. This person's definitely into like yeah, yeah action and horror. That's Jaws. Jaws. These look like horror films. I don't recognize them specifically. They're definitely into film. Cool. This is a person who's super into film. Yeah. And I think this might need to. I feel like you want to move make a bit of space. Some, I feel like it'd be nice to mix some of that stuff together, so it's not like your shelf and their shelf. Yeah, but you don't want the. Right. I know you don't want the films in with like something else or whatever. I'm just saying you might. I'm gonna yeah. put the music stuff down over here, so that there's space for their stuff over here. Because yeah. the movie stuff's being put in its own little area. Though um, the DVDs, we can blend DVDs. That's acceptable. Assuming that's no, that's a book. So people were saying uh, they might be, um, they might be uh, little containers. Like, uh, you screw it, uh, you unscrew it. Oh shit, and... she's not got DVDs, she's got Blu-rays. No. Oh, well, they're not gonna work on this old thing. Oh, that's Well, that's maybe a shame. she has a proper Blu-ray player that's uh, coming mm. in one of the other boxes. Yeah, some items, so, if you right click where you're holding them, they, they do things. So people are saying, like, yeah, that's a container if you unscrew it. Some, somebody are saying uh, geodes, and somebody else is saying, like, if you unscrew it, it, um, it. Um, like shows a candle or something. Mm -hmm. Is that Handmaid's Tale? That looks like it feels it like might... a really large book for Handmaid's Tale. Like I've never seen a hard hard cover co hard cover copy of Handmaid's Tale that flipping large. Yeah, but you can see how. <sighs> I meant this to be my where I keep my music out the way, so there's more space. Ah, but them. board games. But now board games have yeah, to... But that could go on that shelf. Yeah, see if I can squeeze some board games in over here. Depends how many board yeah. games we've got. Because we had like a handful of board games at the at the first house that I shared with the people. Right, this goes next to the plants, obviously. That's absolutely fine. Maybe the speaker could go behind that lamp uh, on the table. What? Behind that lamp next to the TV. Yeah, but if it's playing music, you don't want it playing into something. That's going to ruin the quality. Sure. And that makes we sense. We could swap it round. Have it at the front. But then that's going to partly block the light. They're not so much, actually. Yeah, it's, like it's only works. small. And the TV remote it's ought to be here. Small. The remote ought to be here. And that is a poster. Oh, it's a poster. I'm not sure I like my girlfriend. Because she's, she's, she's into anti-hero season two. And it looks dreadful. I've only seen one poster. And she has a signed copy. Maybe she worked on it. That's possible. That's more acceptable. There is a Handmaid's Tale graphic novel about that size. Uh, says somebody. Alright, so. I can just... No, come on. <laughs> Her stuff could go onto the bed. We are not replicating the problem. We're going of to the replicate the cycle side. of abuse. Replicate! Replicate! No. How about it goes up on the wall of the bedroom? So when she comes to the bedroom, her poster is waiting for us right there. Yes. Yeah, how about that? That's cute. Right, that's her lamp, so it's going to go on her side. How are we gonna make this all work? Oh, do you have new stuff in there? Did you get did you get another thingy that's empty just for her? You got another container that's empty, that's not the same colour as the old one. Oh, there's my laptop, by the way. My laptop was uh in here the whole time. Yes, I did. you got a new container just for her. Good. I did, I actually bought something new so she has something spare space to put her stuff. Okay, I need to figure it's out how much. Oh that looks Wait, what? That folds down very small. Yeah, it's like leggings. Oh, oh, shit. She's got her own stuffies. Uh, right. We need to figure out how much stuff she's got before we figure out how we're going to yeah, arrange this. Yeah, that definitely this. looks like, uh, like, I mean, I don't know. I would say that definitely I thought you might say like lesbian leggings. boots there. <laughs> <laughs> so that definitely looks like lesbian boots to me. Yeah, there we go. So that is confirmation that it's, you know, a person who dresses in feminine clothing. Uh-huh. Uh, however, you... Well, However, they define it anyway. Uh -huh. Aww. Those are definitely some lesbian boots right there. John. Yes. Oh, look at this! Oh my look god, that's this. so cute! That's so cute! Oh, okay, I think you might be right because she's got the hat. Like, oh. that feels like that might be a staff hat. No, that's season, season three. three! Season three, oh fuck's sake. Because she's working on season three, John! I think possibly she's just a really big fangirl of season three. 
So that's not a problem. Lady bird stuff. Two identi many identical bras. I think she's yeah, more into more colourful stuff than you buy the Luxy off it. Little shift. That's nice. That we a little what? Shift. Ah. Okay. More frilly stuff and Oh for fuck's sake! John, uh, she's definitely stuff. She better be. If she's not, I'm dumping her. Because I feel like I was, I've was i been misled as the level of her obsession. John? Yes. Yes. I right. mean... That's waiting for hangers, yeah. Pot kettle nerd? What? What am, I, what am I this into? What am I insist I've put posters and wear matching merchandise on? No, that's different. <laughs> All the stuff you're looking at right now is different. All the, the giant shelf of stuff. That's, that's different. That's all different. All of that's different. It's <clears throat> different. Claire's looking at my giant piles of various bits of merch and whatever. There's not that much. It's different. There's a dog meat. There's a thing from Mass Effect. Uh huh. There's a. Why do I have walkie talkies? Sign? I've got walkie talkies. Because you work on a film set and you're a badass who uses walkie talkies at work. Okay, you know what? That that supports the theory of I actually Thank work on you. the show. That does support the theory. That 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 does support the theory. I'm not going to deny that's that's true. And a little crop top. Nice. Various oh, crop so tops. So cute. Loads of crop tops. Okay, I oh, really... Oh, she has a skirt that goes with that, doesn't she? I really enjoy showing off my midriff, apparently. Mmm. Uh, and it's... Oh. Little, like, jewelry box, maybe? Oh, uh, we'll figure out where to put that in a second. Just as soon as we figure out how many more coat hangers we've got. Uh, pop out those for the time being. Given we now know that in this game's view of the world, what on earth is that? Maybe that unfolds into a piece of art. I'm looking at those and my immediate thought is that's the Fasquez from ancient Rome. The ancient Fasquez for... <laughs> it's probably not. Chat, help. What is that? Claire. I, I, I yeah. I'm you are sure. so far behind. I'm trying to give you chances. I'm sorry. This is such a cool game. I like it. Shout out to Stranger Rebel who gave us uh, 50 Danish krona. And says, uh, John and Claire, I join from I join you from a five-hour session of the Fallout board game. Oh wow, that's a very long session. Nice. Uh, very nice. Here's another nerdy thing John has in his nerd shelf. Uh, shout out to Jake who gave us five pounds. Thank you very uh, much, Jake. And says, you guys are awesome, and I hope you're well. We are doing pretty well right now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and a game recommendation from Scott who gave us twenty dollars. Uh, says, John, you like Infraspace, so I'd like to recommend Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. It's like Infraspace, but on hardcore difficulty. I have heard of this. Yes, yes I think indeed. I've seen the uh, the trailer as well. Oh, she's got so many shoes, though. Oh, it's uh, Incense Sticks and an Incense Burner. Uh, is yes. that what this is? Yeah, that's an Incense Burner for sure. That could go next to the bed, right? Is that allowed? I mean, if I, 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 mean, I burn stuff... But then again, if we're both burning stuff, on, I feel that's a, that's a recipe for an argument. If we if we if we each want to burn different smells just before bed and they clash. Mm -hmm. Also, there's no space for us in the bed anymore. It's nothing but stuffed toys. Oh dear, dear oh flippin dear. And there's a tiny little notebook. Okay, that feels Maybe like that. Drawer, could, yeah, yeah, that feels like that could be a private thing that goes in there. Maybe she like little. Maybe a diary. Yeah, or just some journaling. Some journaling. Okay, I've got at least one more thing. There's a whole bunch of stuff as needs. Hanging, yeah, in a perfect world. So I hope we've got. Oh shit, there's so much more that needs hanging. These don't need hanging. These two in a perfect world uh, do. I think this I could do without this hanging. This might be. Yeah, this would be fine, I think. Yeah, the okay, the dress. Uh, I'm gonna say my wife has a much better wardrobe than me. I'd say like my wardrobe's pretty, pretty plain. She, she she's all about the polka yeah, dots. I mean, even the even the socks and underwear is heavy on the polka dots. You know what? It looks like she might be into like a somewhat uh, vintage stuff. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Oh, for yeah, fuck's sake. I mean, definitely. All right, Audrey Hepburn, whatever. <sighs> dear, uh, oh dear. No, down over here. Make sure it's all lined up correctly. Okay, that that could just be folded. That's fine. That could be folded. That, that could be folded with the other jean shorts. She's got more than one of jean shorts. It's better all fit in one. All right, put that in there. There we go. And that other box. 
Oh yeah, you just didn't double. Ah, uh, I'm one. One thing needs to be folded so this can be hung because that's really nice. Yeah. Fold the top that you can't figure out the color of because it shouldn't be hung anyway. Excellent point. I'm giving up something in my wardrobe for her. I'm doing a not selfish thing. I mean, also that literally should not be hung up because mm -hmm. you are going to stretch it out. Oh, here we go. Right. See that, that, the shorts to that, and that just goes on top. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, this needs to... I mean, it feels like... We're that... running out of space. We don't have enough space. You just have to cuddle more. It's, it's just like just from one person here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, okay, so for the shoes, you don't know what we're going to do. Um, well, maybe we could have some shoes, like, by the door in the living room. Okay, it would shoes under the... Actually, they can't just squeeze no. under the bed right here. I feel like, okay, I'm going to try pairs of shoes under the bed on her side. I think that's not unreasonable. Though her plant can't fit on her thing anymore. If I put it here, on my Next side... Next to a burner with a flame... Yeah, but that's like a plant that's not going to burn because it's like a eucalyptus or something. Um, also, I put the walkie-talkies here just so that the boots could talk to each other. <laughs> you tell me. Lesbian boot one, come in. This is lesbian boot two. Yes, lesbian boot two. I read you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you haven't used the top two drawers. That's true. I haven't. I haven't even touched them. And you also haven't used the top two drawers, I think, on the other side. That's also true, yes. So you could just like lesbian John, boobs, lesbian yes. Put the goddamn shirts in the drawers. What shirts? Oh. Everything that's folded, put it in the drawers. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, there's more space than that in one drawer. But yeah, okay. then you can do then you can do Her excessively large lesbian boots take so much space up. They take so much space. Why are her large lesbian boots so large? Because boots take up space, John. Oh. Also, are you sure you didn't miss us a, uh, a little? Like you didn't miss getting the boots more squidged in? Yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. That cannot go any closer than that, and this cannot go any closer than that. Absolutely not. Those Ooh, boots are just yeah. bigger. Uh, are the boots bigger, or is it because that? I'm Purple gonna... skirt sticks down. We're clearing out more space. We're going to move these into hey, the, the unused drawers. That purple skirt. Does that purple skirt stick down and prevent you from moving the boot? Hang on. I'm doing my shoes. Because I'm going to now use my shoe rack for shoes. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Now it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, John. Yeah. You should move the pink boots. This is my playthrough. Oh my god. My okay, playthrough. fine. Do it wrong. <laughs> I do ever think we need to rearrange. We need to make this happen. We need to make this happen here. All of this needs to come out and we need to have this merge drawer so the brass can be moved out the way so that we can we can make this all work because people say this would all fit together. People yeah, say it would all fit people together. People saying it stacks on top of each other. Well, you have it a bra taking not. up an entire side there, John. Yeah. If oh we just god. if I have all of these as a line and then i have the bras like here i mean there we go boom sorted right that goes they, they just go in there that just goes in there we close all that up and now everything is yeah fine. john if yes. you put you just need to move that purple skirt you do not need to move that purple skirt try moving the boots now Yes! Sweet! Sweet! Vindication! <laughs> yeah, but where's, where's it going? Okay, hey, John. Yeah. What you need to do is you need to put those black shoes and those pink boots down in the bottom next to the red shoes, and then you'll have room for her makeup case. You are doing some hardcore backseat gaming. I'm sorry. You are yeah, hardcore backseat up. gaming. It's going to be bad. Bad for the chat. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, you mo you I'll stop looking. It's really bothering me. Uh, shout out to Foster who gave us twenty dollars and says I ask a pa I, I'm asking a patron cast question 
uh, expecting something innocuous like I'd make uh, stronger Bakewell jokes in Search and Rescue. Instead, John explains how changing anything might uh, be unmaking the universe as we know it. Never changed, John. As, it, as always. As always. Uh, let's see. Uh, Liam gave us five euros and says, Hey, John and Kaya, thank you for clarifying something to me in the video. I'm too young to have realized that was a Tamagotchi. I love this <laughs> game so much. <laughs> yes. Claire send... is just saying what we're all thinking. Send Claire to the chat mind. I agree. Send Claire Back to the... Backseat gaming is our role. Yeah, Claire. Claire's not backseating. She's a driving instructor. That's the wow. most terrifying concept I've ever heard. Yes, yeah, Claire is a guys. driving instructor. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put one walkie talkie oh on this. Oh my god, you. <laughs> you dummy. So we can call each other from one side of the bed to the other. Claire is right, though. <laughs> there we go. We're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere. Now, ah, we haven't, we're not, we haven't done the kitchen yet. Oh, oh nice. this is going to be a problem because the kitchen was already getting a bit crowded. This is arguably going to... She's got the fucking mug. Jesus, woman. It's going up here. Where it will hopefully fall and break. It's going under the oh, bed. Oh, shout out to Positron who says uh, I uh, did the same with the walkie-talkies. Oh, that makes sense. Perfection. I'm just going to get all her stuff out because it's... That is too much soy. That is a weirdly large amount of soy. I think That's that, a litre of soy. That looks like maple syrup to me, but... Um... Oh, I've finally got a drying rack that's a bit excessively large. Let me move all this out the way. She's ruining my kitchen. This relationship's not going to last. We're going to cut to me moving back into my parents' bedroom again. How, how am I going to fit all this in? Oh. I mean... Okay, quite easily as it turns out. <laughs> Just put it in the sink where you're going to use it. Don't approve. I mean, that's literally how it is in our house, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Only when you get your hands on it. I put, I put it out the way, up here, separate. You're the one who leaves everything in the sink. You're the worst. We're, this video is going to end with us breaking up. That's the shit. This video is not going to end with us breaking up. <laughs> So that's a rice thing, right? Uh, yeah, that's a, a steamer for like dumplings and rice and stuff. Right, we need to figure out that's how much cool. she's got. These will stack, good. Yeah, so cute. I mean, that's a printer. So put that, that in the looks office. like an ice cream maker, or ah, I was well, gonna say ice cream scoop. I was gonna say a, a bread uh, bread uh, machine bread maker, but it did come with a scoop right after it. So hang on. Are we, do we have the ability to, yes, yes, here we go. You are shit. John. <laughs> yes, we're leaving that. That's staying. <laughs> you. Yep, you are shit. Oh, this is nice to see John leaving messages for himself. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you. That was too mean. Mm -hmm. Right, her giant dumb litre bottle of soy sauce could just uh, go at the top. <clears throat> yeah. You know, people are saying that um, if she's got what looks like a rice cooker and a steamer as well. Yes. Um, that is not a dumb amount of soy. It's just an Asian amount uh, of soy. Yeah. Yep, story checks out. Yeah, that makes sense. Can we squeeze this on top? Yeah, we can squeeze this. Yeah, on top that makes sense. Oh, that makes can... a nice noise. Yeah, that the special yeah, noises. Yeah, the pestle and mortar is gonna be like nice and. Uh... Can I squeeze what this on that? top? What is that? It's a shark or a fish, either baking tray or maybe mold. Yeah, it looks fun. Okay, we put her sauces with the other sauces. Yeah, that makes sense. That's that's absolutely. Fine. The sauce is the easy bit. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yes, we'll put the cactus in the middle. Now we've got enough fridge magnets, we can start playing with the fridge magnets properly, which I appreciate, which is great. Oh, 
everything is. Everything's great. <laughs> I mean, we can also, we can also, I suppose what you're supposed to write is, I love you. I'm surprised it wasn't an achievement for that. But no, I feel like you, you, you are shit is more my, more my speed. I feel like that's, 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 that's what I would, uh, that's more what I'd write for you. I'm just instead going to write, I love koala and you are shit. That's, that's, what, that's what we're putting on the fridge here. I love koala. You are shit. <laughs> I'm just going to blend our fridge magnets a little bit. There we go. Lovely. There we go. Nice. I was going to change the colour of the pen for some reason. I'm sorry? I changed the pen. It used to be blue. Now it's red. The pen must have run out of... that's a superior colour. Apparently. Uh... That's a rice shaper, says Sci-Fi Assume, the shark thing. Um, you put fried rice into it and invert it onto a plate to make a cool shape. Uh, it just about fits in here, and everything else does too, so, okay, that works. Uh, yeah. This is a really big lemon zester too. It's extremely large lemon zester. Uh, put the cheese grater up there. We're running really low on space. I think it's fair to put spare, spare hand towels under here. Makes sense to me. We're running, we're running low on space everywhere else. This is getting very full. I think we've done pretty well here. Uh, okay, is, is there still? Oh yeah, there's still like a little bit of a box here. It's an orange. I'm guessing that's coaster. That oh, feels that's so cute. I, that's actually super cute. Those are super cute. That's her. Uh, Blu-ray again. She's gonna be so disappointed when she realizes we don't have a Blu-ray player. Okay, we need to get these books out of the way so her Blu-rays can all go together. Uh, this is going to be quite, quite tricky to no, do. No, it's not. You have an entire shelf at the bottom over there. That's true. Yeah, but you did. You just said before we can't separate out her stuff. Yeah, I'm saying you can move some of your books there to have space on the. I shelf was list. here first. I get dips. Yeah. That's so cool! I love her! She might be a bit too into this damn show. Okay, I think we might need to move. Well, the problem is I don't want to move the DVD. Okay, that's a box. So that could be moved separate. So that gives us more Blu-ray space. But even then, I don't think this is all going to fit. This is not all going to fit. There's too many damn Blu-rays. It's a pot. Can some of this go? Uh... Somebody's supposed to go in the pot. Additional pots for further pot. What is that? That is soil. Compost. Well, that doesn't go in the living room. That doesn't go inside at all. That should be outside. That should be left outside on yeah, the... Yeah, but they don't have outside space, maybe. A bathroom. What? No. Fertilizer is like shit. <laughs> shit go in bathroom. Oh, my God. Yeah, you are fertilizer. This is an in-joke we have. Oh, my God. There we go. You see, yeah, more pots, and I do like the the lemony coasters. Those are super cute. Those are. Can you super... stack them? Huh? Uh, yes, one would assume I can. Yeah, that's adorable. There you go. Be right there. Yeah. I like them. Those, those are super cute coasters. Yeah, now... I mean, I oh, think... I never did the bathroom either. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, cactus. Cactus having a shirt. And that is my... That's a makeup thing. How many drawers are left? Seriously, this is where my excessive number of feminine products comes to bite me in the arse. She's not going to be happy with this. That goes on the top anyway. What goes on the top? Ma makeup. No, I meant on the top of the surface. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, squeeze that's there, that's better. okay. That is like hand cream or something? Well, some of that stuff might be her, like, um... Okay, she's, she's way more into makeup than me. She is... I mean... Way more into makeup. It's possible that she's working on those films. That's an what? eyelash curler, John. How do you know all these things? Because I was socialized female. What are these jars? Are they skin mm. skin products? Probably. I don't know. Squeeze any of these. Ah, hair products. there was an entire. She can have an entire drawer. Yeah, just an herself, entire drawer. Hair. Nice. She's a bit too into her hair products and makeup here. I'm not not sure about. Oh, this. so you want her to not be like the other girls then? Mm hmm Yeah, exactly. I see no way this is in any way problematic. Mm hmm oh, she's got... Just move your razor. It's been there for a long time. All her stuff has to go under the bed. Oh, it's even more. No, I can't deal with it. There's too many feminine products. Can't they share? 
We're not like not the same wall. No, I know. Not the same I wall. I know you don't need to say the gross thing. Uh huh. I'm just saying maybe they just have a preferred brand that they like. And they don't need to like change what they use just because. Oh, she finally brought sensible, a bath bath. Sensible, sensible finally, woman. Finally. And. Like makeup wipes? Yeah. Okay, we'll sort that out in a second. We'll sort we'll sort out how that we'll sort out how this is all gonna go and we know how much there is. And yes, I know it's all wrong. Okay, that apparently needs to go away. The fertilizer can't go in the bathroom. Yeah, because it's dumb. Whatever. Okay, we need to clear some space here though. Uh can we We need to we need to just we need to, my my, vit, my my vitamin dick needs to go out of the way. Um, I'm sure your girlfriend wouldn't massively appreciate it. Uh, oh, there we go. This is it's, it's, it's a surprise for our first night. <laughs> God, John. <laughs> okay, how are we going to make this work? We need to put some of this away, but that's not going to stack, is it? If that doesn't stack with anything, probably should put my razor on top of her makeup anyway. That probably wouldn't be appreciated. Okay, my hairbrush needs to go. Okay, put that away at least. Something can go in here. There we go. Makeup wipes can squeeze in there. We're really getting a bit tight here. That's probably as full as it's going to be. Maybe one more thing can squeeze in here. Yeah, one thing can squeeze in there. Now if I can just get her... Leave her comb on there and put your razor away. Yeah, that goes in there. That feels like that's an acceptable amount of space. Yes. That feels like that's an acceptable amount of space left uh, there. Fertilizer. A bathtub. No. I guess it's... I don't see a logical place where you would put the fertilizer. John? Yes? Just have a shelf on there, and that's her plant shelf. That has all her plant watering and stuff accessories. It doesn't have a plant on it, it just have like pots and stuff. Yes. I'm sure about this. So why can you go with this? There we go, now I can get this. Now, now, it, now, it's, uh, now it works better. Um... I'm happy with the pots, though. They're cute. Uh, I tell you what, her books here can go... They can all go around here, though. I need to... I can't see properly. Hang on, we need to unstack these so we can restack them. That is... Yeah, the books can go here. And I need one... We're literally one space short of all the DVDs going together. And with the Blu-rays. I'm furious. I'm fucking furious. Okay, question. Yes. Can you take a couple of the DVD? Can you take like four or five of the DVDs out and stack them on top of each other so that they make a vertical pile? No, because there's a limit to how many you can stack and it's going to be less efficient than having them side by side. I'm just going to sneak one DVD next to the Wii game and no one will ever know. So apparently these things can't go... Maybe these are like side decorations. Yeah, these are side decorations. They have to be displayed on the side. Okay, that room now appears to be. It looks okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm broadly happy with that. There is. Oh, there's additional chicks have it come oh into my existence. God, so cute. Additional chicks now exist. There are now too many chicks. They don't fit anymore. I think we need to. They need to be arranged differently. Yeah. We need to arrange. It needs to look intentional. Yeah. I think I'm. Ooh. That one's a bit crowded. Okay, they need to be, they need to be like in in ranks. Ugh. Can you maybe put the chicken, the the hen, like one one back and then and then have a a chick like slightly in front, one of the chicks. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I think yeah. that works. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with that distribution of chicks and chickens. But seriously, no more. Please, please stop buying more chickens. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, come you. on, you think it's adorable. That's, that's too many chickens now. Uh, what else have I fucked up? Um, oh, the vitamin, the vitamin dick can't be in the bedroom. <laughs> Gotta put the vitamin dick away. Uh, you have an entire, like, rack at the bottom there that you haven't used and then either towels. It's a weird place for vitamins, though. I don't like it. I feel like, okay, I'm gonna put the health kit there. So that the, the vitamin deck can go there. There we go, lovely. Right. And that is apparently everything. That's all we need. And 
I feel like I've got to, it's got to be my own office. But then again, this is the day she moved in. So, I'll merge living room or possibly the bedroom. What should be the photo? Hmm. I think I the merge bedroom with the, the yeah, toys. Yeah, with the cute toys anyway. Mm hmm No! And there we are, little sticker. Little sticker. And so glad for all that wardrobe space now. Is that possibly the end? No? Okay, 2018. Bibbits. And yeah, that's what all that vitamin dick was for. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, John. <laughs> okay, we've got a big ass house now. Oh, what a fancy. There, I said, I said, there's a nursery. Yeah, so did I. That's what the vitamin dick was for. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, anyway. <laughs> Little garage. Okay, so we've got front door, little downstairs toilet. You can't see the garage. My own office, kind of walk through kitchen, living room, dining room, out to Very presumably nice. a bit of garden, up to bathroom, single bedroom, dressing room, yeah. presumably. And it's attached to the bed. And yeah, there is actually a nursery. There we go. So, all right. There, there is indeed a baby on the way, which is, in all fairness, that seems to have moved. Three years from moving into having a baby seems a little fast to me. That seems a bit aggressively fast. I mean... Do you not think? Uh... I mean, I think it is, but I think there's also a lot of, like, a. Uh... It's actually matching now. The phone oh, is actually lovely. matching. There's a lot of... Oh, that's oh, hexagon. so cute! Hexagons! Hexagons! Hex are good. I love the wallpaper. There's yes. a lot of like, um, I mean, I don't know if there's any research, but there's definitely a lot of like um, um, anecdotal writing that I've seen of like people that have like come out later in life mm -hmm. that have said like, you know, once you figure yourself out, you want to, you feel like you are moving faster, like ca catch up kind of thing. Ah, oh, fair enough. I don't know. I mean, again, that's, a lot of things that I've seen, like, anecdotally. Standing desk! Oh. Standing desk! For fuck's sake. Well, and I have that exact desk. And some form of... <gasps> possibly a new character. Yes. And, and all an sorts award. of awards and typography. Oh, and that shot from called. your living room. Okay, most of this is stuff we've seen before. So, Claire. Uh, yes, while we do that, uh, hexagons are ended bestagons. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few people are saying, uh, a few people are saying, uh, you know, if you're in your 30s, it doesn't really, you know, it's not super... Um... Yeah, this would be, they'd be about 32, 33. Mm. So I guess, yeah, actually, yeah. Um, the dreaded uh, Chalupacabra says, uh, me and my wife got married after like three months, been happily married for years. Uh, the world's full of all sorts of people. Sometimes you just know. Fair enough. I mean, that's true, actually. We have um, a friend of ours who's... Um, um, my wife got pregnant one month after we moved in together, says vroom vroom. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a, a couple of friends uh, who, are a, um, who are a straight couple who, like, the same happened. Like, they just... They met up and they were both at a time of their life where they were like, I'm done, like... Oh, shit, I think the it. book... Oh, so cute! It took her two years to figure out the pig lives at the bar, but once she got that, it just flowed. The rest of it was piss easy. Okay, well, that's... Um... I'd like to assume it's like a really friendly cartoon version of like an animal farm, and it's actually nightmarishly dystopian. <laughs> okay, well, anyway... <laughs> You know, the end, it's, uh, you know, at the end, you know, everyone's really happy and they all gather in the sunny farm now and they look up and they see four legs bad, two legs good. And all the people at home, home say, yeah, I've got two legs. Woo, two legs, two legs, two legs. I'm assuming you've had a normal farm. A super long time ago. Excellent. Where's Boxer going? He's going for a tour of the glue factory. Yay, I like the glue factory. Went there with school last year. Okay. <laughs> anyway, my point is, uh, uh, my point is, whoever was saying in chat is is absolutely right. Um, oh no, they're on. Oh no, we haven't sold any copies. I'm just swimming in unsold copies. Oh no, it's been a disaster. Oh, it's John, been an absolute disaster. 
Oh no. Yes. That's just you receiving a bunch of copies from the publisher. You're supposed to be doing an emotional unboxing. I know. My family just hate... I, I think it's... I, I should have given this away to my family and friends, but the book was so bad they wouldn't take it. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're mortgaged to the hill. We've just bought this massive house and the book's a failure. Anyway, I would also like to point out that, uh, of course, as Chad I was about to say that way darker, oh but I'm starting to get that. I'm starting to get taking that darker. But I was thinking it. I was also going to point out that, uh, as Chad says, it might not be that she just came out when she met her girlfriend. It might be that she was bi all along and we just didn't know because she wasn't, like, coming out to herself in her unpacking all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Uh, Yes, indeed. Uh... Oh shit, here we go. The sequel. It's going to take her three years, but does the cock crawl live in the chicken house? Ba ba ba! Why are you horrible? <laughs> Why? <laughs> also, there's like a sarky pig. There's a very sarcastic pig. Sarcastic. Uh oh, oh. Strapping up the rest. I've had one of them. Oh. I, I put myself in one of them. Before I started doing this full-time, when I was trying to do a full-time job, at the same time as many a true nerd, I knackered my wrist so badly, I ended up strapped up. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, ended, I, I ended up completely knackering my wrist. I had to be strapped up. Uh, so, all right. She needs to start doing what I do and take Monday off. Uh, yes, indeed. And some people mentioned... Um... Uh, mentioned that uh, her closet drawers were bi collars. That's true. Ah, uh, I yes, missed that. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, but yes, of course. Uh, you know, we can't know. We can't know how the character identifies, and all of the identities are valid. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Um, let's see. Uh, the Blair is still around. Gave us ten pounds. And says, I can't normally make the Thursday live streams as I have a weekly pub quiz with friends. But I'm glad to be here and proud to be a patron. Uh, my uni LGBT society loves MATN and trans rights are human rights. Oh, sweet. Which society was that, sorry? Uh, my uni uh, LGBT society. Oh, sweet. Very, very nice indeed. And of oh, course, look at this. Of oh, nice. Super nice Wacom writing tablet. tablet. Really nice tablet. That needs to be more central. Uh, yeah, well, you could put the stack of books in the shelf. What? The stack of books, you could put that on the shelf. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Because, I mean, the tablet, obviously, she's going to need to use. Possibly now that she's... Maybe we don't necessarily need the pens quite so to hand anymore. Mm. Yeah, but the, the awards and shit. Yeah, fair Look, enough. Look, this it's getting crowded. Shit's getting crowded at this all point. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, shout out to Jake who uh, shout out to Jake who gave us five pounds uh, and says, "You guys are awesome. I hope you're well. I've definitely read that one before, but a, um, I hope you're well doesn't uh, really uh, age badly, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it can do. That sounds like the beginning of a very tragic story potentially. Jesus Christ, John. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we'll keep the pens on one side for now to figure out where we're putting the pens. Anyway, shout out to Curtis, who gave us five pounds and says, I got a hold of this as soon as they released it uh, based on uh, off your early playthrough, a complete masterclass in storytelling. Thank you for putting it on my radar. It is. It's so good. It's such a good game. This is this is sneaking further and further up my games of the year list. Yeah. This is this is sneaking up. This is this could be challenging for like, you know, podium position in my game of the year. 100%. Uh yes, indeed. And uh, the uh NK dude gave us $5 and says, "Hey John and Claire, uh thank you for keeping me entertained while my power is out. Always love the channel and happy to catch this stream." Oh, I hope your power is uh hopefully by now back. Yes, indeed. Hopefully. Uh, and shout out to, to Patty who gave us uh, 75 Canadian dollars. High level dollars. Uh, thank you so, so much. Uh, Patty says this game really plays to my OCD. I have added it alongside Power Wash, Simulator, and lo Lawnmower Sim. You three are the best. Oh, excellent. I'm thank glad to you hear it. So much. 
I I still think the I still think the pens have to go on the desk. There's really not much space there. between the this thing and the massive thing then right here. Then put them on. Well, I mean, I guess maybe you'll have your printer at some point, unless you don't have that Understand anymore. That. I'll put them over here for now, and, yeah, we'll, and see we'll see what and we'll see what happens. But I think that laptop probably can go like in the cabinet because it's not like you're using that. Yeah, that's true. It's just an old laptop that needs to be securely disposed of at some point. Yes, indeed. Uh. Just pay a bunch of people to come and get your many, 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 many computers. We had to do that. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> I love the... I, I really like the, uh, the head. Oh, cannon. shit. Here we go. Book one. Book two. The Handmaid's Tale. The Handmaid's Tale, which was a real downer between Game of Thrones book after Game of Thrones book two. Something else. The Teletubbies. Where, where the fuck's book three? No, oh, no! He's un he, he unwrote book it. three! He started writing so slowly, he started unwriting! It was recalled! All of them were recalled! Oh dear. There's the, maybe the wells were decorations and we got that wrong. I don't know. We need to keep looking. We need to keep looking. It's Game of Thrones, it's going to be... I'd, really, I'd, be, actually, I'd genuinely be disappointed if there isn't a, a book four before the end of this. I've been paying so much attention to this. I'll be really sad if there's nothing else. Ooh, nice dish. Nice old dish. Oh, that's... That's your scanner for your office. Okay, well, that, that could go here for now, but we're already out of space. I think the pens might have to go away, Claire. Okay, we just need to unpack. I think we need to start... Just, now the amount of stuff is going up and... Oh! That's a pregnancy box. Oh, yeah. So it's not adoption, I think. And, oh, shit. Hey, no, that's back, book three. Yeah, that's book three. No. No, where's book four? God damn it, George. It's been a fucking decade. I mean, that's accurate. <laughs> I'm so angry there's no book four. Where is it? I mean, all the people who actually read the books are like... You don't know the half of it. Where's book four, George? Where the fuck is book four? Well, that goes back up top. I like that being up there. Yeah, with like, especially with your family picture, it makes sense. I'm putting this between the whales when we find the other whale. That's, oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, where's our bedroom? Sure, I want it up in the fucking bedroom. Where is it? That's the... That's, that's Put it in the nursery. Oh, God. That's actually a cute idea. I kind of like that. Oh, it matches the curtain colours. It does kind of match well. the curtain colours, dear. Or... No. No. Yeah! Now when we shit, we can think about anti Antihero Season 2. There we go. That's better. That's... <laughs> And I'll show her what I think of her hopes and dreams and career. Where's book four, George? Where's book four? That's a place setting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, place setting. Oh, now they have more place they settings for like when settings. they see family or when they have the baby. There we go. Uh, Napkins. It's weird for a normal... Oh, that's definitely a nice toaster. More nice space toaster. in the kitchen. Way more space in the kitchen. Finally. Which is good. No, there's no book four unless it's somewhere else. I'm so sad. I'm so... No. This is unacceptable to me. It better be hidden somewhere else by mistake. I'm so furious if it's not. I'm going to be so furious if it's not, Claire. You, you don't even know. Uh, I, I do know. Carry on, Claire. Carry on. I have on. met you before, you know. Anyway, um... Shout out to Jennifer who gave us $10 and says, John, uh, men can use tampons for things like broken nose and nosebleeds. They can, but they don't. Mm -hmm. uh, We'd rather just preach. suffer or stuff toilet paper up our nose. I mean, I feel like you wouldn't... I don't know. I mean, obviously you could, but I feel like you wouldn't like purchase it for that reason. No. Um... Thanks for keeping John informed about our struggles. Also, uh, I didn't know always is a brand over there too. Yeah, I mean, it's very common a brand. brand. Probably like the most common. Yeah. Like, if you asked me know. to name brands of feminine hygiene products, I'd probably say always and. 
fuck, there was one that did the rounds that like had a bit of a viral ad campaign not long ago, but I forgot what the name was. No, nope, literally just always. Yeah. That's it. Welcome, welcome to the brand. What? How many more are there? I'm guessing loads. I I, I don't know because I buy all. <laughs> all right. Well, that would. Well, wow. That marketing campaign was effective. Good I job. Mean, if you're the marketing manager for always, congrats. You've achieved market dominance. I mean, it's just literally what I've always used. Right, sugar's probably going to go down here yeah. somewhere. There's Ah, there's some cute space here. Ooh, so nice. That's cute. Okay, that's clearly for actual cutlery. But we'll have yeah. baking pretty high up. And... Well, that can go to a different room. Kitchen globe! <laughs> Extremely... Oh. Toasty globe. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Zumba Marks who says uh, those uh, are not Game of Thrones. They are two, three core D and D books. Trust me, I'm an expert. Oh. I feel like you could have the balls like on the nice decorative shelf. I but... know, but I'm I I, I yeah. need to see how much there is before I can figure it out. Like I think actually, I've come round to the theory of unpacking everything and then repacking it. How you want it to be. Reorganizing it. What yeah. Because re like, now that there's... Mo like, when it was not much stuff in small spaces, you could just improvise it. But I feel like it's, it's almost weird. Because, like... Oh, my God. That's how you would do it when you were a kid. You just unpack it, jump it up. But now, like, the <laughs> games are forcing me to act more like a sensible adult. That's organizing cute. sensibly. Because there's so much stuff. So that's I'm actually really unpacking nice. it in a more grown-up way as my character's grown up. Which is dumb, and we'll figure out precisely where the bus wants to go. It's probably just like in one of these, but we'll we'll figure that out. Uh, down okay, the line. but now can you set up the coffee so that she can use it in the morning? Okay, I guess my possibly pregnant wife could actually have a. Actually, are you allowed coffee if you're pregnant? Is that one thing you're not supposed to have? I don't know. I think that might be one thing she's supposed to cut down on. That probably. might. I think that yeah, might that might be that might be. Sound a... legit? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Um, Ali says, I feel like in real life you have the advantage that you know roughly what you own already. This is, that is true. Uh, that is true. Also, people are saying that the globe on the stove is a, a bit of an on the nose metaphor for global warming. Lol. Wasn't even intentional, but here we are. Uh, yeah. And you might want to make sure to keep the, like, there's going to be... Long and short hanging, presumably. Yes. Though I can't see until you yeah. um until you click what the f is like a cute jewelry box, isn't it? Yeah, that feels like that's not an in here thing. That feels like that's a pop on. Well, there might have been enough space, but I, I want it to go there. Or so in we'll the bathroom. Have, so I'll have to see about that. When you're getting ready. Hello. Oh, it's me. Also, <laughs> as a as a more grown up person, you've uh, bought a bunch of matching uh, coat hangers that all wood. That's true. I have and done said thing. Stuff. And exercise pants. Oh, there's so many little drawers oh, though. So cute. So many cocking drawers and a little. Okay, we'll have to figure out where all those goes. It probably goes up, up here. Probably. Get rid of it. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put all her stuff under the bed. Her stuff just goes all under the bed. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Beware, who gave us $2 and says, I'm loving that the podcast is back. Thank you, John. It's uh, it's not, it's yeah. been there. Yeah, it's been nice yeah. to be. Oh, and it's lovely also <clears throat> for you to like get uh, so much uh, more time to like just chat with them. Yes. I feel oh, like... I just realized what I'm supposed to be doing. All these ones are supposed to be up here. And then the hanging stuff should be, have space to hang here. I've got it completely I mean, the wrong way that. around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't. I'm like 20% sure you didn't say that. Uh, Amanda says, uh, if you're pregnant, you can have at least uh, one uh, ounce of coffee. One and 12 ounce of co I don't know how ounces work. Mm -hmm. It's not much. Mm. I'm not sure an ounce is much. And what I'm going to do, because this is now a, a lesbian household... I'm gonna try and arrange. I'm gonna try and arrange their clothing rainbow. That's adorable. And yes. We, yeah. Yes. Yes. We, yes. We create, it's gonna be right. And aside from that, that goes in the bin. We're gonna try and have a rain <laughs> rainbow wardrobe. So that's gonna be. It's kind of in the orange space. Yeah. There we go. Those, um, I really like those matching coat hangers that they've got. That's Wait, classic. That? Because that's long hanging. No, it's not. 
Well, you need a reg you need a dress coat hanger on the bottom. Yeah. So I do. I hate it when she's bright about things. I do you know? Oh, sewing. Uh, apparently, one of us is into sewing, but that's the uh, I stole. Fight! I'm just. There's a dark undertone to the story that I just keep stealing things. Why am I stealing so much? Stop I mean, I don't everything. know about you, but when I go home, my mum ends up going like, Oh, I'm not using this. Do you want that? Mm -hmm. Like, quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Wait, where did I just put that? Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there we go. We're, we're making... Do you think it's your, like... Do you think it's your... Do you think your partner that you have now is your roommate from college who was into cosplay? Because like those, it's not impossible. Those I don't, I'm not sure dress, there's been any... Those vintage dresses, those vintage dresses have the same kind of shape as um, they have the same kind of shape as the Sailor Venus dress. And now I think that's a bit of a movies. stretch. I think that's and a stretch. And there's now sewing stuff. Mm -hmm. And I thought it looked like maybe, um, I thought it looked maybe like, um, from the stuff that she had, you know, from, uh, how she had, um, from Oh, I think this is a real stretch. I think it kind of looks like, uh, your, um, I think it kind of looked like, a. Uh, she was doing maybe like a, or what's it called, um, like special effects type work. Could be. Mm. Could be. So that kind of goes with, you know. There we go. We're getting, we're getting somewhere with my rainbow wardrobe here, with my ludicrously gay wardrobe. I'm enjoying my extremely gay wardrobe. Right. Well, that's blatantly one of my, uh, yes, one of the books that belongs here. It's gonna go not yet inside the purples. That's all absolutely fine. All this needs to go. We'll need to see whether these books need to be here, whether we can squeeze these books into the main room or not. So I'm just, I keep skipping from room, but keep skipping from room to room. Keep on skipping. Clap! Yes, indeed. Shout out to a zombie Killips, uh, who gave us 10 Swiss francs and says, I love to see this game. I completed it after seeing it on your channel. Quite fitting too, because I'm currently considering moving to force myself out of my depressive slump. Excellent, good for you. Uh, yes, indeed. And I hope that uh, whether it's moving or not, you can find something that uh, that helps. Mm -hmm. um, I personally find if you're able to do that, uh, if you're not allergic, that uh, you know, sticking your face into some cat fur and listening to some purring really Aww. helps. Uh, especially, so especially if it's tabby. Especially good after you've had therapy and you need a cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, she's very good at that. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, Quentin gave us $5 and says, Good evening, all three of you. A quick question for you, John. Any chance that we'll be getting a Jur Jurassic Evolution 2 video in the future? Uh, does, I swear they said they were going to give me code like early that they, they just didn't or forgot or something. Um, so I don't have it at the moment. Um, the thing is, the original Jurassic, uh, Jurassic World Evolution. I thought it was perfectly competent, but I've in the end found it a little bit disappointing. Just because I felt like it didn't live up to the promise. Because I felt like the there wasn't enough interaction between the dinosaurs and their enclosures. I felt like, you know, it just felt like you were putting down... A, you know, you were putting down a series of things that the game said the dinosaur needed. Like, you were put down X trees. And why water? Therefore, the dinosaur was happy. But, like, I wasn't really happy with how much the dinosaurs did or didn't do... Insofar as, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. like they didn't interact. It didn't feel like they were playing with the water or hiding in the trees or anything. I was I was always a bit disappointed with that. Uh, and why is this not going up on a wall? This feels like this is a poster, but it's not. What is it? That looks like bin bags and roll. Oh, I thought it was a poster. Uh, they look very similar to the poster. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give you that one. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, See, so yeah, I, I was a little bit underwhelmed with Jurassic World Evolution, the original. So I kind of want to check out someone else's footage before I make a decision on whether I'm going to cover two. Because I'd like to see more evidence that the dinosaurs actually interact interestingly with each other and with their environments. 
before I make a call on that, because I was just a little bit underwhelmed with the original. It was fun, but I felt like it, it didn't live up to its potential. <laughs> yes. People are amused at the bin bag thing. I was trying to wrap, yeah, I was trying to, oh, Claire, it's our exact, Aww. we've got that exact thing. We've I mean, got that we've also got those exact uh, wooden spoons as well. Yeah. Mind ya. Yeah. But I like that they went for all red stuff. Yeah, of course you do. Uh, ah, and um, about the uh, the candles, uh, we got a message from Myra, who oh, yeah. gave us uh, who gave us uh, ten euros, and says it's not a menorah, it's a um, Hanukkah. Uh, hopefully, Ooh, what's the difference? Right. It's specific to Hanukkah rather than all year round. Uh, you keep the candles nearby because you light the candles with another one of the candles. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Thank you, Myra. Well, there you go. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, sorry, sorry. I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, checking the, um, I'm just checking where I am. Anyway, uh, Henry the Eighth Fake gave us two uh, pounds. Just. Not real Henry VIII. Yeah, up to uh, three baking trays. Yeah, and they don't stack like that, do well, they? No, you have no to two of them do. Else. Two of them do. Yeah. The third doesn't. Suggesting maybe it would be sensible to create like a little baking thing yeah. down here or maybe up above. Like, okay, hang on. Would they even fair? I'm not sure they'd fair. Well, while you experiment, no. uh, Henry VIII's fake... Uh, says 49 shades of grey, sad face. <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, when you couldn't figure out the colour of that sweater. Uh, and uh, Michael gave us two dollars uh, and wanted to know if we'd identified uh, the DVD and GameCube games. We've done some We've, of them. We identified all some. Of them. I thought yeah. one was Colosseum, but it looked like it might actually have been Wind Waker. I think Claire was right. Uh, one of them was a bit of a mystery. Claire's looking. Gu guys, we have it on tape, right? <laughs> on tape, she says, like 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 an old. Um... Dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to Jake who gave us $10 and says, Hello, John and Claire. I want to thank you both uh, for all of the content over the years. I fall asleep several, na several nights every week listening to the Fallout video essays. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, that's awesome. Love that. Yeah, I love to hear that. Um, yes, indeed. Uh, and Molly gave us $5 and says, This is making me think that I should be spending my day off cleaning the house instead of watch watching this while eating delicious cheese. Love to you both. Never feel bad about eating cheese. Yeah, I feel like you should just chill and eat, eat cheese. Eat the cheese. Yeah, eat the yeah, cheese. We, we officially give you permission to eat the cheese. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, from Declan, who gave us five pounds, I think my favourite bit about this game is finding out more about John and Claire's lives. It's fun to learn more about you both after so many years. It is. It is nice to go out this game that yeah. gives you an opportunity to uh, to talk about that. I've decided that on account of oh, I've decided as a result of that. Uh, uh, since uh, one of them is uh, literally growing a human, yeah, uh, she gets to have you are a star on the fridge. Okay, actually, you know what? You are a cactus. Well, it's look, even better. Look, the thing is, you know, her back hurts. She can't sleep very well. She's always feeling hot and stuff. Yeah. She can't tie her own shoelaces. Sometimes she's going to be prickly about it. Yeah, you are a cactus. <laughs> I can say that to uh, someone I loved. I'd tell them you are a cactus. Yes, you. indeed. We do have a little uh, one of our um, one of our little hard drives where which we used to pass things around. Yeah. Between our computers. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake! You've got the fucking water bottle or something. Season four. Yes, it got renewed. Where's the fucking where's book four, George? Where's fucking book four? Look, he can't. He can't write it. He's like. He's got to, like, you know, he's got shit to do. He's got, like, you know, ceremonies to present. What even is this? Do you think it's like a... Like a like water bottle? I guess. It probably shouldn't be up here with the saucers, to be no, honest. No, it should not. It should be, like, displayed. Or something, I think. It's like honey or something, I don't know. Yes. That looks like oh honey. Oh, God, this is now... There's too much stuff. We have too much stuff in our kitchen. 
And you can't mm. hang the oven gloves over the oven, which annoys me. You should be well, able to. you can't in real life. Yes, you can. That's what we do, that's what we do with our yeah, oven gloves. Yeah, but our oven gloves are not like that. Our oven gloves are like one mitt that all, that's linked together. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is unacceptable. I completely unacceptable. I can't deal with this. Oh, God. That's... Yeah. Okay, so while you figure this out... Yeah, there's mm. so much stuff in their kitchen now. It's not enough space. Shout out to... Uh... Oh, it's space, look. Yeah, but it's space under the the sink. You don't, you don't put, like, clean, nice stuff under the sink. Where are we going to put all this? It's going to be a nightmare. Look, you are so far behind. Okay, fine. <laughs> look, it's interesting. <laughs> How dare you enjoy this game? Uh, shout out to Alex who gave us 10 Canadian dollars and a pear sticker. Yay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Scott gave us another five dollars. Uh, and uh, another recommendation for workers and resources, which, um, you know, if you've sent a super chat and I haven't read it yet, it's because I'm far behind. Or it's just because there's a lot of them. So, uh, you know, you... you you can you can mention it to me in the comment in the chat if you need to leave, but uh, uh, please don't feel like you need to uh, do another donation or whatever. Just uh, get me to check if it's there and if it's on the list and if it's gonna get read. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what else do we got. Jessica gave us a hundred Swedish krona and says I am behind, so this is going to be really late. But from the creators of Let's Talk All About the Things That John Got Wrong. Oh no. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite new game show. Socks or underwear? <laughs> He's doing really good now. I Jessica. did really well on that He's at the end. He's figured out the, the thing. Well, I mean, we still have some to go. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Drake the Trouser Snake, uh, who gave us five pounds and says, oh, this is actually really cute. At this point, I'm not sure if I'm here for the games or for John's winning personality. I would never play this for more than five minutes, but I'll be here for hours today. Oh, this is this is this is crack cocaine in video game form. I da how 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 can you say this? Mm -hmm. oh, so hang on, go ahead, clap. You you drink coffee. Yeah. What is this thing precisely? Coffee grinder. Okay, and this thing, yeah, but how does she actually prepare the coffee in that case? Because there's not. So she grinds the. So she yeah. takes the bag of coffee grounds. Fine. She puts some coffee grounds in the grinder, grinds yeah. it, Fine. so that it's nice and fresh. Then she put the coffee inside the cafetiere. Yeah, <clears throat> and where does the hot water come from? The kettle. There is no kettle. Well, it'll be in a different room. They've had a kettle every apartment. That's true. It'll probably show up, but I feel like we're we're missing. I was. I think... Also, I would like to say something that. You know, I, I would like to apologize in advance because I think this might upset you. Oh, God. But what? Um, in countries that aren't the UK, where uh, it's not traditional to have a kettle come as a normal part of every house. No, that is normal. You, um, you can boil water on the stove and make tea with that. No. Yeah. No, you can't. I mean, I did tell you that it would be upsetting. That's unacceptable. You. That's that. That's dumb. Uh, ooh, can you stack the small plates on top of the big plates? In theory, I don't mm. know. And can we fit all our shoes on the shoe thing? And that's microwave probably... water, says Bogart. No. No. Unacceptable. No, that is unacceptable. Oh, cat. Cat. Ooh, gallery wall in the stairs of your art. I want a gallery wall in our stairs, but we, we don't have anything to go there yet. I would like that. There we go. And... Right, you don't get to be on the shoe tree. You're too big. These these lesbian boots are too large. To go. I think we might have been travelling, by the way. Yeah, that's lovely. Where is that? Is that an elephant? Yeah, maybe you went to India? Possibly. And I don't know what the little red... I mean, I guess maybe the red... Maybe the barn is like a little toy from your books. Do you think the little red barn is a little toy from your books? I think it predates the book coming out. So, oh no, that one. No, yeah. that doesn't. You're right. It's possible. Swap around the elephant in the barn so that the colors are better mixed. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the spacing's a bit. Oh yeah, you're right. That's probably the best we can do in terms of spacing. Mm -hmm. It's not spectacular, but I'm assuming that is a bath towel, right? So, yeah, it's a bath oh, yeah. towel. Uh, let's... let's try the situation with the 
McJibbles uh, with the kitchen. See if the stack of little plates could go on the big. No, it's a nice idea, but then also you use big plates more than little plates. So it'd be annoying to have to pull it out and be careful with the little plates every single time. So I can see how that would not necessarily work overall. Anyway, uh, shout out to Bean uh, Drawer who uh, gave us five pounds and says, uh, could John try right clicking on the Wii? Right. I don't know if we still have that. Uh, assuming we still have that. Yes, yeah, some items, if you right click, they do something. Some items rotate and some items like this one just don't, don't do anything. Uh, so it, it varies item to item. Sometimes stuff happens, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, which is why you can sometimes miss them. There we are. Educating children about the dangers of bees from a young age. What? Pokeball! Go! Just in case you know. You just, if your baby annoys you and it's cried too much. Baby! Return! You! Then it's in its body. You can't hear it anymore. Uh, yeah. And, I mean, people were saying uh, if you're... Um, if the game is set in Australia, which it should be... Uh, well, it can't on... be because... Oh, otherwise... come on. <laughs> oh, it's everything will be on the ceiling. That's great for an audio medium, by the way. Um, oh, wait, wait, I could probably do this. Hang on, hang on. Not Th really hang on, that. hang on. I bet I could do this. Okay, hang on. Transform. There we go! That's it! I'm, it's now in Australia! I'm, right, it's now set in Australia. So now. <laughs> Australia! I can't wait for the chat to catch up with this. Oh, I bet this is a photo album. I bet that's a photo album. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, there yes. we go. <laughs> We're now with this is the authentic Australian experience. You're welcome. John. Greatest joke John has made in ages. Wow. <laughs> Australia! Michael, I know! I know, believe you me! <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll fix that. Shout out to the bread that calls Lemes, who says that does prove the theory about John getting more chaotic in chill games. There we go. We live in Australia now. This is where we are. Okay, fine, you've proved the theory about chaos. Okay, you've so... The chaos um, theory. Hi. So anyway, uh... Oh, she even put the the old chipped mug for the tooth the toothbrush. Oh, that's adorable. I tried to, I'm trying to make the plural of toothbrush toothbrush there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it's set in Australia and we have kettles here. Says somebody. Yeah. Good. Proper civilized mm. country. Anyway, uh, Lady Cricket uh, gave us ten dollars. And says, uh, I just popped in to say, John, you rock. I needed more YOLO content, so I started the New Vegas series again. That was seven years ago, and it has over a million views. Uh, also, Probably it's the first episode. They are, none of them stuck around for the, light, for the next event. <laughs> uh, in episode one, you say you won't plan it too much. Yeah, that's true. Well, the thing is, in New Vegas, you don't need to. Because New Vegas is extremely regular. Of the modern Fallout games, it's the only one that doesn't have random encounters. Mm. Uh, New Vegas, every enemy is always going to be in the same place at the same time, uh, overwhelmingly at the same level. Um, so I didn't need to plan it, because I knew going in precisely what was... Look at chat. Somebody find a, found a way to write upside down in chat. Oh! Sorry, I didn't know which bit of chat you were referring to that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, New Vegas, you didn't need to. Fallout 3 um, needed more planning because you had to work with the randomness. And also, Fallout 3, you're generally a lot weaker because without the damage threshold system, with the damage reduction, uh, damage um, resistance um, system, you're way weaker and take way more damage. So as a result of that, you've got to make sure you're more careful. Plus, in Fallout um, 3, there's a lot more melee enemies who can be hard countered by a particular thing, like, say, the Dark Gun or the Ghoul Mask. So you root them 
um, in order to neutralize a particular enemy class, and then you can work around them. Fallout 4, none of that works, because Fallout 4 is just nonsense, chaos, bananas, and everything, and the enemies just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and nonsense happens all the time. So you have to kind of just have, you, like, in almost like, in a way, you almost kind of can't plan Fallout 4 again. You can come up with a plan, but you've got to be ready for it to, like, oh. just be changed. Like, at a moment's notice. Uh, they want you to open the door in the bathroom. Yeah! I didn't know that was what there. the other door in the bathroom? That's, that's the... That, that's that just a spoken. door out of the bathroom. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, I guess because you've got... I'm glad they I'm glad they told me about that, because I want to know about that. So that's, that's good. That's so cool. The that's little utility cool. space. Yeah. Well, that's definitely my hair straighteners. I've seen them before. Mm. Uh, Admittedly, I think see. it's I think it's a shame that even though they've got this really big nice house, they've still got a shower in the bath, which I really don't like. I like having a separate shower cubicle or what have you. Uh, I think that's much nicer. Uh, so it's a shame they don't have that. Yeah, but I mean, I think you know it's it's yeah. very common to. There we go. <laughs> Come on, rubber duck. <laughs> this might actually help balance out the front area. This might help balance out the little entry hallway. Mm. The if we just put that in the middle. No, you need. S I think I think it looks better. I think yeah, it's better than it was. Uh, but I think it's it's something we could yeah do with a bit more of. Oh, sorry, I keep starting a room and then not finish again. Keep starting rooms and then not finishing the damn rooms. Uh, but my rainbow closet is working really nicely. Yeah, that's really lovely, actually. Right, so that needs to move to the end. Wait, which is which of these is? I think that one's there. I think that one's a darker. Well, I mean, and that one could also go up the skirt because it's short hanging. Mm -hmm. But I guess it depends how much we've got. Uh, I feel like pink is like a softer version of that. Then again, that can go up to. There's no space for that anymore. We we just we just have to deal with what we've got. We just have to deal with what we've got now. It's all absolutely fine. Uh, anyway, do, 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 do. Uh, I've never seen a shower shelf bit built into the glass divider on a bath like that. Now I want one. I think I've seen one of them before. That, yes. That's uncommon in this country. Mm. Right, jeans definitely can just be as they are. They can just be stacked over there. More of a sports bra there, I think, by the looks of the pattern, I'd say. Yes, indeed. And a shout out to Amanda, who uh, has been a member for nine months, mm. uh, and says, from the picture this morning, my kid said, Mom, these are magnets. I told John they are magnets. Put them on the fridge. We know now. We've got I it. Said, Don't worry. We're there. I said, honey, it's a video. <laughs> Uh, Team Rocket Me gave us five dollars and says, "Hey John and Claire, long time fan. My mom is having surgery today, so it is nice to have a comforting little stream going on to take my mind off of it." Oh, well, I hope everything is okay. Yes, indeed. I hope it goes well. Uh, I hope it goes well, and she has a great recovery. Yes. Uh, ooh, Morenfeld gave us uh, five euros and says about that frame ticket. My first day with my wife and myself uh, that we went to was the 50th anniversary Doctor Who special in a local cinema. We still have the tickets. Oh, That's lovely. That's really cute. Yeah. That's super cute. Uh, it's also super cute because on one of our first dates we watched Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. We did. Uh, because I didn't know about Doctor Who. Uh, and, and Doctor Who was good back then. Yes. <laughs> uh, anyway, I... Um, I was talking to John, and he was like, "Oh, you've never seen, uh, you've never seen." I said, like, "Yeah." I was talking to you about a book I was writing with space pirates in it, and you were like, "Oh, like Firefly," and I hadn't seen that. Yeah. And I also hadn't seen Doctor Who, so we did. Uh, we watched uh, Firefly and Doctor Who mm -hmm. as a date thing. Yeah. And it was lovely. We did. Mm -hmm. Oi, get up there, get on there, because we need you to be part of the purple. That's pajamas, though. I don't care. We need to. We, this is part. Of, this is part of the color scheme now. Okay. Ah, uh, dear, oh dear. Shout out to um, Blibonic who gave us five pounds and says, "Hey John, I turned in my first essay of final year university today. 
This stream is the reward I needed. Oh, sweet. Congratulations. Uh, yes, indeed. Congratulations, absolutely. Uh, I can't remember whose bra's who, so they're just getting mixed together. I mean, they're different sizes. They don't look different sizes. They're definitely different sizes. There's... What? They're not. They're just... They're, 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 they're both fine. They're no, both... they're different cup sizes is all. It's what, you mean fine. you can see it? Yeah. What? The pink one... Like, the polka dot ones, first of all, they belong to the, your partner. Because she has all the polka dot stuff, remember? We talked about that. Okay, that's that's reasonable, yes. But I think they're smaller. I think they're a smaller cup size. Uh-huh. Aha! So I'm beating my wife in something. Good. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I win. I win at boobs. Oh, yes. God. I think the thing is, in, you know, in a women-loving women relationship, everybody <laughs> wins at boobs. That's the point, kind of, <laughs> you know? One of the points, anyway. Uh-huh. Uh, not to, not to, you know... Uh, not to uh, be too essentialist about things. Uh, Cheat says, uh, Claire hadn't seen Firefly or oh, Doctor Who. Who even are you, Claire? Yeah, it just didn't air in France. Because it wasn't, like, dubbed or something? Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming Firefly would have then, would have aired, like, later. And then, um... Ooh, we're safe. That's cute. Ooh. That's super cute. I was not expecting. Okay, these people have now become more adult and responsible than us because we don't have a safe. <laughs> yeah. They've, they've officially become. I mean, I don't know. They're having a baby, so that's clearly more adult. Also, than that. Us. I'd forgotten about that. But yes. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd forgotten about that, but that's true. They are uh... also having. They also are bringing a life into the world. So, all right, fine. Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. Okay, so. Um... Uh, 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 um... Uh, people are agreeing with me about the, about the, uh, the size of the thingy. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cecile says they did have, they did air in France. I watched them there. Yeah, I'm sure they did. But what I'm saying is when I came to the UK in 2008. Yes. They hadn't aired on a free channel that I could watch uh. at that time. I don't know if they have, uh, I don't know if they, I mean, I know that Doctor Who has now aired, like, you know, because it's been on BBC America and whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, so, yeah. Doctor I'm Key. Mm, God. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, they, they were Doctor! 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 Doctor Key. Mm-hmm. What would the French be for exterminate? Exterminate. Well, no, it's no no that's not right. Extermine. Extermine <laughs> Well the plus shot like if you think about it, that's actually beneficial to the French Daleks, because that means if you have to yell exterminate before you fire they're going to get, like, 20% more shots off over time. You don't have to say extermine. That's like they're, they're saving a whole syllable. Well, I That's, think... They, 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 the French I Daleks think, win that fight. I think it would be exterminate plural. Uh, because, um... Because, uh... You know, exterminate is... I, did I say plural? Stop carrying this thing around with you to every house. You never do anything with it. You oh, don't know. Maybe she works out. Well, not in the way I rage yet. Okay, fine. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, it's 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 um it's a verb, right? It's mm -hmm. it's the infinitive exterminate. So pro probably exterminate. Mhm. Mm okay, I'll take your word for it. Mhm. Mm Right, this is my side. She got a matching speaker to me. So we can have bed stereo. You know, so we can play the Barry White on stereo oh while God. we're getting down to it. Bow chicka bow wow. Mm -hmm. Anyway, shout out to uh, Motsia who gave us 10 euros and says, Hey, John, Tabby and Claire, I can't watch the stream today, but I've been loving your content for many years. 
And dear John, will you be playing more Elder Scrolls like Oblivion? Gre greetings from the Netherlands. Uh, well, first we've got to get to the new Skyrim's come out again. We've got to do Skyrim again. Skyrim's out again. Oh God. Well, will Skyrim stop coming out? One day Skyrim will be done. We got. We're, we're just gonna do like some new stuff in Skyrim first. This has got to be symmetrical. Uh, shout out to Beth who gave us uh, five uh, dollars. And uh, I think that's uh, one of the many moments where I was exasperated with you. Because the <laughs> comment is, unpacking, kill everything, run. Lol. You, you just can't know. Uh-huh. It's hard to tell. Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to uh, Zumba Mox, who uh, gave us five euros. And says, quick shout out to the accidental dragon slayers. Has John learned about the, sc uh, the scourge of gelatinous cubes yet? I I've been told apparently they're actually scary, mm -hmm. which I still find ridiculous. But here we are. Mm -hmm. Dear, oh dear. Uh... <laughs> shout out to Amy also who gave us 10 euros and says, greetings from Italy. I've been having a rough time at work and in general life lately. But you guys never fail to make me laugh and to brighten my day or night. Oh, glad to hear that. Yes, I'm glad you can help. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. You know, we we are very much YouTube nerds in yes. the fact that we watch a lot of YouTube as well. And obviously, we also, you know, we also find it therapeutic and helpful in that way. So, yes. it, uh... I mean, to me, anyway, it feels very min meaningful when people say that because I yes. feel like that's about plenty of channels. So it's amazing to hear that we can do that for people, you know? Conquer. Indeed. Uh... Oh my god. What? John isn't afraid of gelatinous cubes. They're basically square acidic jellyfish. Ah! What? That's. What? No! Scary. They told you so, John. No, and also invisible ones that can sneak up on you. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Blimey. Okay, yeah, that's pretty scary. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Shout out to Christine, who gave us 50 Canadian dollars. High level dollars. Indeed. And Christine says, uh, I'm off work for Remembrance Day in Canada. So I call my first stream in a while. It is snowing, so I'm enjoying a chill day off. We've now uh, our seven-month baby MATN fan and hubby. Oh, love you guys! Uh, thank you so much, Christine, and um, love you too. And yes, indeed, uh, I hope you and the family have a, a lovely day. Uh, yes. Now, John was saying uh, recently, can't wait for uh, it to uh, snow a little bit so we can get uh, Tabby's reaction to snow. Yes, no. Because she's Tabby never in the seen snow. It before. Well, I mean, you know, not in a very long not time properly. anyway. If she, if she ever has. There's the cattle. There we go. We found the bastard. Though this is gonna mean, yeah, there might just have to be like a little Whoa. coffee thing down over here because we're kind of, the kitchen and space is filled up fast. Yes, indeed. The money to be. You might just need to like pull out the coffee things as you need them from the coffee shelf. Fair enough. Is the coffee shelf acceptable? Fair enough. Yeah, yeah it's acceptable. I think that's fair. I mean, oh, the globe probably ought to not be there. <laughs> They've been yelling at you about the globe in chat for a while. I forgot well. about the globe. The globe. The globe may have been slightly forgotten. That might. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just. I was gonna say in, in the nursery, but it's just maybe too. Uh... <laughs> No, that's Uruguay, not Uganda, you cocking idiot! <laughs> oh, dear, oh dear. You're never going to get into a good preschool like this! Oh my goodness me. Uh, shout out to Oddball Greg, who gave us a 35 South African brand. Uh, and says this game is broken and... Ooh! Else. What? Oh, cool. Aww. Okay. Is that supposed to be a parody of like Valkyria, uh, Valkyria Chronicles or something? I don't know. Okay. So yes, you can turn the if as long as the Wii's present and it's by the TV and the remote control is there, you can have that. Uh, you can turn it on. That's cute. I did not realize that. Uh, there are lots of cute little touches in this game because some stuff like interacts with if you right click and some stuff well, just doesn't. Well, that's interesting. Um, so people. 
I googled the familiar tale with yeah. that spelling, and what came up is mostly familiar tale with a uh, AI. Yeah. Uh, as a, a kid's book that features animals. Oh, yeah. So I wonder if that's meant to be, like, you know, related to her work. I feel it odd, by the way, that the cane is in the packing. Like, you would have thought that's something you wouldn't pack up because you kind of yeah. need that. But you don't always need every accommodation all the time, right? True, 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 true. So it might just be... Anyway. We'll Ooh. need to see where the, DS game, where the DS games go and how many of them there are. Mm. Carry on, carry on. I mean, if you put it that high up, the plants are dead. Only when you're managing them. Normal people would just... Okay, fine, that might be a bit high up thinking about it. Dear, dear. There's not much space. We're lacking oh, in space. There's many other rooms. It's clearly supposed to go in this one, given all three of them were in this box. They were clearly intended to go in here, because otherwise it would be like they'd be separated. Yeah, it's a hundred percent Simpson Citadel. Right? I'm so glad I recognised that. That's super cute. That is that one. I'm not sure about. That one's a mystery. And we have got some jubble. That one's a hundred percent Metroid Prime. If I did that one, wait, is that the Marriott? Is that the? Can you get closer? Is there maybe like... Kirby? Something yeah, like Kirby's I mean, Aeroids. Like, that looks like a princess, right? That looks like a princess with a princess hat in the uh, in the side. Really, I wouldn't. Just, I wouldn't have called it that. And then that, yeah, that's that's the Wii. That's the Wii Sports. People right are there. saying maybe Animal Crossing. I can't remember what Animal Crossing on the GameCube even calls. It came up very late in the GameCube's uh, life. The Animal Crossing. Was it, Har was it? No, it was Harvest Moon. It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, I can't remember what you... I can't even remember what the Animal Crossing on GameCube was called. Oh, uh, could you... Are you able to open the door to outside? Because you could open the door in the no. bathroom. Cannot, no. Yeah, I mean, you because you can use the laundry room, so that's... Yes. Yeah. That is... That might be a Wii game. Don't know which Wii game that is. Red Steel, perhaps? Mm. Well, this is we picked up some extra Wii games. That looks like that might be just a dance or party game. That might be Wii... Oh, what was the one where you were playing the music? There was one where you were, like, conducting a band, but I can't remember what it was called. And we just need to stack the board games a bit more sensibly. There we go. Is that, um... Oh, what's it called? Oh. The one that's like where you're trading on a Caribbean island. So, uh, Jamaica, Santa. Blah, 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 blah. We played it with. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what we you played mean. with a friend of ours at one point, but I can't remember what it's called. You mean the one we own? No, it's one we don't own. Because we own Archipelago, but that's yeah. different. Um, the one where it's like, yeah, it's, it's all trading based. And I'm sure we've played it with a friend of ours at one point. And can we fit all of these in one thing? It's going to fit. No, Jubble needs to go into a separate one. It's, it's too much stuff. It's too much stuff. Now that one, that's Mario Kart Double Dash. It's definitely it's Mario. It's not Catan? I mean, can we see the cover? I mean, the, the coloration... Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely Catan. No, you're right. From that, that's Catan. But I thought from the name Azores, it would be based yeah, no. on, like, a Caribbean trading game. No, but you're yeah, right. From, Thank you, From everybody. the coloration, that is Catan, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% from, from the definitely. coloration, that's Catan. There's, there's Jaws on a Blu-ray. There's the last of the coasters. which are like Port having... Royale, that's right. Thank you. Port Royale, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Or Puerto Rico. That's another game, but we have Yeah, Port Royale is on the video game. Puerto Rico is the game I was thinking of, yeah. 100%. Is Port Royale not a board game? It might no, be. No, it totally is, yeah. But I think it's adapted from... I don't know yeah. which way the adaptation went. Uh, I don't know, but that's not the one we were thinking. No, I was I definitely thinking of Puerto Rico. The... I was 100% thinking of Puerto Rico, but from the cover, it looks more like... Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Because we've definitely played that. And that is red as well, isn't it? Can the controls... There we go. Mm, it's totally not red. I'm wrong. Ignore me. Mm-hmm. Okay, people are going to get angry about this. But the GameCube games are stacked next to the Wii. 
because you can put GameCube discs into a Wii. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah. They're waiting to put them on Dolphin. I mean, if we can, yeah, that, that makes more sense. There. Then the Wii games are there, and the DS games are too, because the DS is in the same room, and the DS just squeezes in next to the DVD. That's better. Yeah, that's actually that's better. That's actually better. So yeah. That's actually quite nice. And the little bus should come and join me in my office, or could be... There we go. Now it's full. Yeah. I think it looks... Now it's actually that Now all... it looks okay because it's... Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. actually... It's evenly uh, spaced. That's yeah, actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually some people were saying, like, point. if you reorganize it so that there's the Eiffel Tower and the Leaning Tower of Pisa on either side, then it's more balanced in terms of height. Oh, uh, here we go. 10 million cocking feminine hygiene products. Oh, I'm sorry. They would like to apologize for bleeding from their bodies on a regular basis. As they should. All right, there's the... <laughs> it's the vitamin John, D. dear, oh dear. Some things you can stack, some things you can't. Oh, that's nice. And that's... Oh, they're getting older, so they're taking more pills and potions to not die. Hashtag relatable. I mean, I want... Those feel like they should go in the cabinet because it's literally a medicine cabinet. We don't know it's a medicine. I mean... And then... Uh, okay, we'll decide We'll decide how much... Where, what needs to go where depending on how much stuff there is. That's definitely my other hair clip. Nail clipper, yeah. Yeah, basically the same thing. No, not at all. Basically the same thing. Uh, I could go up top. I wonder if the only way I can get you to stop bloody calling it a hair clipper is to tell you that clipping your hair with nail scissors is in fact a dumb TikTok trend. But they're scissors. Don't, 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 they're not scissors, Don't John. get through your hair. The clippers. Don't get through your hair. Don't get through. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They do it. Yeah, they would, but it's... Oh, no, I'm thinking of... Ne Stop putting the fertilizer in the bathroom boxes. This is the second time. Right, because of that, it's going next to your luggage. It's your punishment for incompetent Were packing. Were you thinking about scissors rather than... Yeah, clippers, nail scissors, not yeah. Because nail yeah. scissors could cut hair pretty easily, in fact. Right, but actually, it would be really annoying to do because it's too small. You want bigger scissors for cutting. That's a clothes hamper. That's a clothes hamper, yeah. That 100% is. Don't know if this is going to fit in or if there's going to be more of them. More piles of that. You go over here. Yeah, we're getting into familiar territory. Yeah, I anyway. I think that's hers um, anyway, mm -hmm. yes. Clap. Uh, do, 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 do. Also, I like how... I. I like how this one, it looks like, because I can't see it very clearly. Like, it's probably just two tampons next to each other. But it kind of looks like they're trying to put, like, trying to put your period in prison. Like, you're putting it behind bars. Jesus <laughs> banish, banish your period to max security. With J-Lo's. Are they sold by Jennifer Lopez? Yes. There we go. Actually, Jennifer Lopez trained breakfast cereal that should be called J-Lo's. Uh -huh. Really good. Is that a baby thing? This is no. That looks like a baby thing. Yeah. This looks like a baby like, thing. Maybe. maybe it should go in the baby room? Yeah. I'm just going to leave it here and we'll figure it out. That looks like a baby thing, but I'm not 100% sure what it is. But I love that I left her stupid poster in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite thing about this new house. It's kind of, you know, the last, the first place we move it together, I wrote, you are shit on the fridge. Here I put her favourite show that made her career in the in the shitting room. I feel like this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, precisely what I want out of life. It's the one room you have to go in every day. Yeah, there we go. Do you think that's a cleaning product for here or a cleaning product for humans? I thought that was fabric softener because it was right after the laundry detergent, but... Could be. That looks like an E45, doesn't it? Yeah, that's some fault. I think that's how moisturizer everything you ride. That's... Well, I was actually thinking it looks like E45 and it looks... It, and I'm, I'm thinking it might well be uh, for the partner who's pregnant. Yeah. For, um, you know, stretch marks in that. Uh, okay, interesting. Mm. Uh, okay, so this doesn't all fit on here. Maybe on top of the washer? Yeah. Yeah, good. Good shout. Good mm. shout. 
Excellent shout there. The spare ones we don't currently need can all go. Looks like turn. Looks like Tums. It's an anti-acid bottle. Ah. So that thing that I said. An maybe fabrics... antacid. An antacid, yes. Antiacid. Well, I mean that's. Mm. Or an alkali. Wait, this should probably be okay. Can... Okay, an antacid is a substance that neutralizes stomach 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 acidity. Therefore, anti-acid is not a stupid thing to call it. Mm -hmm. I think those maybe want to be stacked like on the shelves uh, at the very bottom there. Like the you very need to... bottom here. Yeah, like you need to move some of the stuff maybe. Well, we've we've opened up everything, so I think that's actually re there's now enough space because now we've kind of already got everything ready to go. So, if the hairbrushes go at the top, and then the the razor goes. Well, the razor could just go over to here. And then the makeup wipes go next to the makeup. There's still enough space there. That's that's reasonable. So you can have the hairbrush where they're reachable. They're reachable. I assume these are, you know, tall lesbians. They could go put on their lesbian boots if anyway, need be. Anyway, take the antacids and put them in the medicine cabinet, though. Because you've put them in the laundry room now. Wait, 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 wait where? That. This. People were saying that looks like Tums. And it might be... In it goes. If you're pregnant. There Can we the go. towels go in the hamper, but they're Which clean? I tried, but they wouldn't go in. Ah, in that basket. Yeah, I tried putting them there, and I tried... I don't think they can interact with... Oh, no. well, do you think you could have the small towels on that top shelf in the laundry room? I think you'd have the big towels on that, potentially. No. Uh, yeah, but you need... You can't have... If I had all the big towels here, then there, will be a, there wouldn't be a hand towel available. So I'd rather have them stacked fair here. Enough, I'd enough. rather have them like this. Unless the game says, you can't! How dare you! And I'm um, guessing the... I don't know where the fertilizer is supposed to bloody go now. I mean, probably in the living room, given that you have a door to outside right there. I mean, I guess so. It feels a bit of a stretch, but... This doesn't feel right at all. That's true, actually. I'll give you that. That's weird. Into the shitting room it goes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just, just take it off the toilet. I don't know what room that's supposed to go into. Oh, so the thing that you put in the lawn in the baby's room that we thought was um, that we thought might be a baby thing is actually laundry powder. Eh. Uh, okay. I can't believe this game's going to end without Game of Thrones book uh, book four being released. I'm furious. I mean. Art imitating life, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm just furious. I can't believe this. Also, there's a laptop here, which I feel like should be like a main room thing. Previously, it's just sat on the table yeah. in the living room. So that's that's always been there in the past. Then I've got, yeah, uh, just a whole bunch of Front room box. door for the fertilizer. Yeah, I suppose so. Like, yeah, the, the front hallway. You mean? Yeah. Pfft. <sighs> I mean, that just feels weird. I think, is there, yeah. It's the best we can do. If it's wrong, the game will flag it to us. Yeah, of course it will. Okay. Uh... Yay, walkie talkie so we can talk to each other. Dear, oh dear, while you do that, uh, shout out to, uh, <laughs> shout out to oh, Oddball Greg, who gave us 35,000. There's more checks. I feel like maybe it's a baby monitor. Well, I mean, no, because she had it before. But yeah, sure. We, we can, can use it as a baby it monitor. Baby monitor we can sure. use. The, she could be the coolest baby in the world with like a branded baby monitor. Anyway, shout out to Greg, uh, who gave us thirty-five South African rand. Thank you very much indeed. Three times, by the way, it's just the amount of time I've tried to read this message. I see. Uh, this game is broken amounts of wholesome and so is john when he's not trying to figure out what the most caustic thing he could possibly say is damn straight dear oh dear <gasps> oh! Oh! we broke claire oh claire's God. been broken by the fact the stuffy toys are being handed over to the baby oh! Oh! that's it claire's done claire's broken Uh, 
other people also pointed out that there, there was a cool chick with sunglasses. Which there was. was. I, you were, I didn't want to interrupt you again, but I did see it. <laughs> oh, and you get the achievement for creating a giant stack. So many blocks. The baby's gonna get bored of these. There's too many blocks. There it's almost be... like there's a lot of letters in the these? alphabet or something. Chew toys, I think, for a teething. Are you sure chew toys is the right term for it's a human baby? Take it to the park and you know toss a frisbee for it. <laughs> get some exercise. Chat, help, help us out here. I just googled chew toy for kids and a lot of stuff's coming up, I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. Um Tiny little baby onesies. Two of them. That's optimistic. I feel like you can need more than two. Yeah, there's more boxes though. Mm-hmm. And also, you need to have a oh. It's the pig that bought this house. <laughs> <laughs> And his friend, the ostrich, who's in the much less successful sequel. Lol. <laughs> no one gave a shit about the ostrich adventure. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Pacifiers, teething toys. Yep, that's that's a more acceptable name. Uh, it is a teething toy, but chew toy is the colloquial. Mm -hmm. Okay, some people agree with you and some people agree with me. Okay, let's focus on the ones who agree with me. <laughs> uh, so many hats. Isn't it supposed to be like hot in Australia? No, it's hot in the summer and cold in the winter. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Also, yes. babies have a very thin scalp, so you need to protect it. What, with a hat? That's not going to provide any protection. Is that vulnerable? You need to, like, give them a helmet. That way, if you drop them, they don't die. Well, I think the idea is that you shouldn't drop your baby. Well, yeah. But, like, but if I horses will... were courses, then beggars would ride. Okay. Um... Where's the baby seat supposed to go? I think where the large amount of crap on the floor is. I mean, we've got a garage. This looks like a car seat to me. You can't go in the garage. It's not a car seat. Looks like a car seat. No, yeah. it's just a thing that you... It's um, it's just a, like a little chair for you to put the baby in. And I'm going to put it in like... here so that when my wife needs some time off, the baby can hang out with me. Mm -hmm. We'll see if the game says, no, that's unacceptable. Your wife should do all of the child rearing. She's trapped now. You have baby trapped her. Put all her stuff under the bed. <laughs> all the baby's toys will also be put under its crib. Uh, it's a baby bouncer you should put in the living room. I'm putting it in my study. Uh... Clearly not a car seat. They lack the neck muscle for helmets. Uh, and hats protect them from sunlight. Uh, and from being cold. Uh, yes. And again, we did put the, the box with the shirt on it is laundry detergent. Yes. We'll get back to that at some yes, point. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Shout out to Urban Cohort, who has been a member for 48 months. Ooh. Very nice indeed. Uh, and says, um, John, I heart Claire, semicolon, you equals shit. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know if you're... It says, John, comma, I heart Claire, semicolon, you equals shit. So... You figure out which bit is addressed to who there. Who knows? Uh, and shout out also to Christine uh, for being a new channel member. Hey, Christine. Uh, welcome indeed. Well, or welcome back. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm. Uh, yes, and someone is pointing out that the, the little books that are super big is... Uh, some of those like big puffy books that you have for babies. Yes, I've seen those. I enjoy the crab one and the bee one not so keen on, but the crab one's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I've put the mobile. I've arranged the blocks into a pyramid, obviously. Yes. This will be the changing table. So we'll need to clear that. 
We'll just put the, the mobile phone in with the baby in case he wants to call for assistance. Lol. Where? <laughs> Where? Over. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, also, people are pointing out the hats are also cute. Mm hmm. So. The hats that. are cute. This is true. Put a little baby rattle all over the place. Can we stack these? We can't stack the chew toys, as apparently it is acceptable to call them, which I find delightful. But the pacifiers over here. Could you have the little, uh, the little rainbow in the bestagons? Huh? The little rainbow in the hexagon. That's true. Yes. Okay, there yeah, we go. It's at the front. Very at the nice. front. That's better. And hmm. Oh, there's a little fish as well. I like the crab. I like the crab better. The crab's going up top of the pile of books. There we go. I don't know what this is. Uh. Maybe a little bag to take, like, all the changing stuff for you, with you when you go out? It seems likely, yeah. That mm. seems about reasonable. Ooh, spell out the baby name with the blocks. Yeah, but you don't know what the baby name is. Yeah, but we can pick. Well, it's not that many... As long as it's from the beginning, it, it better be, like, Deb or something like that, because there's not many... <laughs> there's there's only the first five letters of the alphabet. Uh, well, can you can you turn them if you click on them? Yes, but there's like lots ah, of them are. Well, the it's, it's not a full enough. 360 rotation. Enough, it's more enough. like it's more like an inversion. Yeah. Uh, so you don't get you don't get access to new letters. You see, fair it's always enough, the same letters enough. just on the other side. Mm. So all we, basically, we've got like you can have Deb, you can have Beck, um, like Rebecca. You could have Becca. That's probably the longest name you could get away with. Uh, yeah. Becca would probably be the most you could do. And then, like, stars either side. Okay, fine. Get it done. It's all going to be fine. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out also to... Um, da, 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 da. Let's see. Somebody was saying... Uh, yes, Sci-Fi Storm says, Hey, um, are the books supposed to be an ABC? As in, there's B and Crab. And uh, I'm not sure what the other ones were. But... So. Uh, crab, fish, bird, B. Well, there's bird and B, which are both Bs. Crab would be seen, fish is F, so yeah, I but feel it like might no. be a, It might be a, like a slight. I feel different. like it's just really, I think it might be a bit early for ABCs. Anyway, I think that might be a, that might be a bit just, optimistic. Uh, you, you could uh, just, um, uh, you could just do uh, baby or bebe. You could do. I mean, I've, I've now constructed Becca. So the baby's now called Becca. There's nothing we can do about it. Fair. This is our baby, Rebecca. And she's Becca. And we're just going to have to deal. Because I've spent a lot of time constructing these blocks. So it, it, she just has to deal with it now. Job done. That's it. There's too much stuff to fit in there. Assuming John, this is a baby thing, yeah. This is yeah. laundry detergent. As I've mentioned several times, we got it wrong. Before. That would make a bit of sense, yes. yes. We need to find our way to the bathroom. There it is, and up to the top. It did go. have a clean shirt on it, yes. Well, I thought that might be like a, you know, a sign that you use it for changing the baby. Okay, I still don't know what this is, so it's going under the bed. Uh, my little bag can just go. Maybe in your office? I mean, it. it that was yours. That wasn't hers, and that's her side of the bed. Yeah, but I can't. I can't get to my side of the bed because of the way the camera the works. That's okay, yeah, that's true. Or it could just go in the cupboard out of the way. Also, officially, I'm not allowed to put sewing stuff not on the ground. That can't be folded. How de oh, not no, it, folded. It can be in the drawers. Presumably, yes. No, no. You get over here. You get over here. You. No, oh, no. It's trapped. Help. In your own personal drawer. Whatever. Get it there. Get to there. This needs to go next to the other sewing supplies. This now needs to go to my office. There's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. This could just go in my office there. That, yeah. I'm not allowed to look after the baby. I've baby trapped my wife. She just has to deal at this Maybe point. Maybe you just have to, like, take care of the baby together as a family because of the love. Mm, I guess so. Here's... No, not acceptable. Kitchen? Maybe if you're like mm. here as like a threat 
Like, this is the last, this is your last warning before you are tossed out the front door. Okay, so I'm going to be bathroom. Could it be, like, if it's hanging out with us in the bedroom? No. No, I mean, I think it's just something that has to go in their bedroom because... No, it's not. But that's in front of the door. Ah, well, I'm glad you noticed that. Yeah, because look at the floor, you can see a little indent. And the hats can just be put away in the drawer. They do fit next to that, so that's fine. Uh, anyway, shout out to... Um... Oh no, the walkie-talkie can't be left with the baby! I mean, the thing is, Bullshit. look, the baby needs a bit of training before it can work on uh, something, something hero season five. Uh-huh. Fine, we'll just put them either side of the bed so we can call each other in bed again. But Which the game allows because it understands the cuteness. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, incense. Ooh, could you have the, like, chicken I mean, that's a stuff. recipe for curtains being on fire, actually. Could you put the, the all the chicks, like, on the little uh, shelf above the bed? The little shelf? You mean this? The bed? The bed no, pads? I mean the shelf that has nothing on it. Not a chance they're all going to fit there. Not even close are they all going to fit there. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, the only option would be if the mother hen was here and all the babies were along this. Having a bit of independence. You know. That is kind of adorable. Slowly growing up and all of them are here. Looking in. That looks like that might actually fit. Yeah, I think that'll just... Uh, I think it'll easy fit. I think it'll actually, if anything, we might want to move them in to create less gap at the side. So if the curtains are slightly closed or anything, they won't be excluded. Yeah, loads of space. So the new one um, can just go in the middle. Yeah. Boom! So there we go. That's so they're, start, they're starting to have a little bit of independence from their mum. Which is nice. But the problem is, yeah, we've got... She bought her own speaker, which I kind of want one speaker on the side of the bed. Do you or do you not want, like, a speaker in the living room and a speaker in the office or something? It's I want weird. our speakers to match. It's just weird to have speakers in the bedroom. What, they want to play the Barry White, as we've established. Mm, yes. Okay, well, those can be that can be right next to the bed, because then that matches and the speakers can match. I just want to find a different place for... Maybe while she's, like, dealing with the baby, she wants to have a bit of music on. Or, or you could have the incense on that shelf where the all the chicks wouldn't fit. Yay, I'm having a spear. My headphones now. Wow, you have two pairs. <laughs> My headphones now, girl. There we go. Nice. Uh, right, and then we've got all her film books that just need to be lined up. Anyway, whilst you uh, do that, yeah. shout out to um, Maxwell, who's been a member for two months. Hello, Maxwell. Uh, and says, hey, John and Claire and Tabby. Thanks for checking out Mega Aquarium again. I love the video. Uh, a stream to complete, uh, a stream to complete it maybe could be fun and chill. Agree. Yeah, there'll definitely be a Mega Aquarium stream. I've already got, got a pencil in for next week. So that's 100% something I would like to, uh, yes, I'm strongly considering. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Paul Wilson, who gave us $5 and says, See, this is why there isn't more MATN merch. John is protecting us from disappointing our significant others with large amount of merch. I think it's for everyone's own good. <laughs> wow. Wow. Rude. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Will gave us £5 and says, John, I've given you money today and I am a new patron. Um, can I please get your thoughts on the Jodie Whittaker era of Doctor Who? I literally stopped watching after Arachnids of the UK, which was an episode so bad I couldn't deal with it anymore. The thing is, Chris Chibnall has written some bad episodes before. I think we might say Chris has written some good episodes. I know he hasn't. He's not written one. He's written the best he's ever managed is mediocre. He has not written a single good episode during the entire period I was watching Who. And you had Russell T. Davis, who was sometimes a bit over the top as a writer, but he was a good showrunner. Then you had Moffat, who wrote good individual episodes, but was a terrible showrunner. Then you had Chris Chona, where you got the worst of both worlds, where he can't write an episode or arrange a series arc. And I Useless it, bastard. It really sucks as well, because like, I really liked Jodie Whittaker, like, you know, like in the first little bit. I mean, the thing is, for me, I'd been going off of Doctor Who for a long time before Whitaker. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't enjoy Capaldi's era hugely. There was a lot of weak stuff in there. I mean, the thing is, I liked Capaldi himself and I liked Whitaker herself. 
But like, I wasn't a hundred percent sold on Whitaker's perform. Oh no, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. Gee, no. I wonder why. I didn't get. I didn't quite get the dark. Like you know, I didn't get the darkness that the Doctor also has. From well, Whitaker. yeah, but I think that's a writing thing. That's not a performance thing. True. Really. And I think it's also hard to gauge the performance thing in the first few episodes, right? Because the Doctor is finding themselves right the doctor is figuring out who they are in this new incarnation so where's the problem show me where the problem game is in the kitchen oh Wait. it probably wants where would you want on the oh boom ah, i didn't even see that there was a window cell there's there. a very narrow window cell there uh... there we go Foster wants to know if we've watched um, Harris's video on Stephen Moffat and Sherlock. We yes, have, we have. It's he great fun. Very, really good fun. He's very, very correct. well put together. Yes, indeed. I mean, I agree. I'm, t I'm completely ignoring my baby, and I'm taking a photo of our gay closet, mm -hmm. the extremely gay closet. Yes, gay closet. Way more important than a baby. Gay closet. Mm -hmm. Enough space for all our clothes and then, sir. Yay, gay closet. Started to fall off around the Matt Smith era, says somebody. Um, mm -hmm. Aw. Yes, indeed. I, was, uh, I don't know why, but when I saw the Umpro, I thought it was about to say unprotected sex. <laughs> I was about to be, and it was about to be a, like a public service announcement. This is what happens if you have unprotected sex. You end up with a baby. I thought it was a warning. If you oh, there's a song. If you have unprotected lesbian sex you end up with a baby that's the, the you're safer in that case there's a song there's there's the song no, happening no, right now by no. the way yeah you, 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 yes uh, STIs and whatever Shh. i don't know we're not we're not experts all right you speak to I've, I, it's providers. true i've never had lesbian sex in my life yes indeed <laughs> Oh, God. Um. You know what? They're right. They're right. We're going to quiet for a sec. This house And we finally get a bit of a look at our people there, just for oh, a split second. I missed it. Just I was for a looking split the second. Super it looked like I might be slightly of colour, and I think my partner was not. I think was the way around it was, uh, which I think was the implication we got from the photos earlier. Uh, so there we go. It's a humble game. So generally, you're okay with songs from humble games. They're uh, they're they're fine with you putting whatever the hell you want out uh, there for the most part, which is fine. So there we go. Can That's... we look at the stickers? 
yes, I think there's probably a fair few sticks I haven't got. Oh uh, yeah, oh, there's like so loads. I, I do love how the um strike Yes, yeah, so you've got a little bit of a hint. Electrical Yeah, you see. There's that's what Claire would get for her unsafe kitchen. Somebody did say uh that uh, you coffee. get a sticker. Yeah. All sorts of blasts and tunes, uh, hat on head, gotta flush them all. Ah, if you put your toys in the toilet, I guess? Maybe, but uh, somebody was also saying that if you put the toaster in the bath, you get a sticker. So I'm assuming Blimey. That's, that's the one, uh, the electric shock one. Yes. Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, okay, so um, I maybe Terracotta gave us five pounds. Mm -hmm. and says, hey John and Claire, thanks for playing all cute games. I played this one as I was recovering from a lumbar puncture. It was a great choice on Switch. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Excellent. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, let's see. Chris gave us two, two pounds and says, behind on Super Chats. Hooray. I'm helping. There you go. That's the picture. Oh, that's lovely. Yes. Oh, and you have your ukulele. Ah, no, yes, it's the other way around. Sorry, I thought that was yes, but that's that'll be because that'll be the ukulele. And Jeff, there'll be uh there'll be the baby in this little glance of oh, the uh, so the cute. garden. So there we go, Indeed. ending uh final bit in twenty eighteen. <laughs> Look how final picture is just Look at my closet! <laughs> yeah, said that round the fact yeah, do, do you have the baby's room set up? Yeah, but look at my closet! There's so much space. Anyway, shout out to uh, Dushin Destroyer who gave us five uh, euros. Smooth Doof gave us 15 Australian dollars. High level dollars. Uh, and a little heart emoji. Uh, and Koku has become a new channel member. So uh, thank welcome, you very welcome, much welcome. for that. I'm kind of curious if there's a special message for if you take a picture of the bedroom. Barely managed to fit myself in here. Yeah, there you go. So we can check out the other messages. Look at the other messages, yeah. yeah. we can see the other messages now. Uh, and from uh, from Nova, uh, who gave us five pounds. Uh, hey, John and Claire, I'm loving the stream. I'm in the process of sewing together tiny hats for my friend's monitor lizard. Much love from Ireland. Tiny hats for a monitor lizard. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I mean, I don't... Maybe a monitor lizard is a type of lizard. I assume yeah, it was... Yeah, type of lizard, yeah. I assumed it was a lizard that lived on the monitor, just like uh, my little goat lives on my monitor because it's no, a modest lizard is a type of lizard. Oh, fair enough. Oh, I just apparently we have. A, apparently, I have a sister. My sister I used to fight over this bathroom. Oh, so that is a very uh, nice indeed. That is a bat. There is a that. That's the thing there. So we're just learning little bits and pieces there. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Amy gave us five euros and says, I have to go now, but thank you so much for a lovely night. I had a terrible day, but you guys managed to make it so much better. It's such a charming game. There we go. Just, ha Aww. just happy about a private bathroom there. I mean, nothing, that's uh, fair. nothing too dramatic. Uh, and, oh no, don't restart. Uh, can I just the, the, ah, and by the way, you can also just create gifts. Oh, that's adorable. Every single room has a gift. So you could just uh, have that, which is super cute. So yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's really lovely. Uh, let's see. Um, Chistyakov gave us uh, 420 rubles and 69 cents. Sweet. I don't, nice. I don't know how this is called. Uh, and says, yay, my nickname is Cactus. Your dictate, oh. So there you go. Sweet. There you go, there you go. Uh, oh, that's adorable. Titan uh, gave us 20 Swedish kroner and wants to know if the hat uh, with the ears on gives you a perception bonus. <laughs> you should one, try that. Bob would reasonably hope so. <laughs> Did not recognize the cosplay at I mean, all. Yeah. Is that the same pincushion that you get later? I mean, it's a very. Oh, flat. yeah, it is. Just how much did you steal in this game? Stop stealing everybody's stuff. Yeah, but what if that's uh, your future? Wife? Also, that's the same. Apparently, we just stole this picture. No, John, you made it. Ah, uh, and you then got it back it. when we. You always had it, no? Would it? No, it went missing, which would suggest possibly. You like left it with your parents or something. No, it's further evidence of the fact that one of the people living here was one of the people I ended up with. I think you got that picture back when you lived with your parents. I think there was no room. Um, there was no room at the horrible boyfriend's. Mm. 
But yeah, I think that's true because there was the the Catan type game. Yeah. And was there another room in here, or is it just three? Uh, I've already seen, we did the the bedroom first up. That was just the I think I'm not sure I've focused the bathroom in this one. And wait, we're all showing one bathroom. <laughs> yeah, problem. Panic. Okay. Panic indeed. And uh, speaking of your collecting the books that are D and D books that you uh, continued to call uh, Game of Thrones book. Uh, Yes. Yes. Uh, JJ Kuchenmeister gave us five dollars and says, at the time depicted, George had public uh, had published books four and five. It seems like it's John's character's fault for not having bought them. Oh no! Well, if I dropped out of them that much, you think I would have got rid of or wouldn't be carting them around when they're so bloody big? Yeah, that's because they're not thrones. Hmm. All right. Shh. I just assume that they are. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I mean, somebody's packing up that, um, somebody's, uh, pointing out that, uh, when you live with someone, sometimes your things get mingled and you end up leaving some of your stuff and packing some of your roommate's stuff by mistake. If it's just, I made a mistake, you would, like, give it back. But sometimes, yes. if, like, that person, like, say, moves countries or whatever. Yes. You know, uh, you, yeah, you might end up, obviously. Um... <laughs> Just curious what all the little messages are at this point. I'm glad I found a place that's nice on my budget. Yeah. Was there one more room in here? Where was the... No, that was about the sofas. We've definitely already seen yes. that that one. Because that was saying, hey, I'll figure, out where, how, I'll figure out where to get a sofa from later. So in which case, then it's the... Yes, then it's moving into uh, the new place. Yes. So, all right, I think there's a few. So, yeah, we've seen... That old girl, and then hang on, that was yeah, that was the point where they move in together. So happy for the wardrobe space as a starting point. So, yes, then it's just the others. Clap, yes. Uh, and Peter McQueen gave us uh, five dollars and says a shout out to Finn who said, I wonder if a jellyfish will sneak up on John while he's on fire from the oil oven while being crashed into by a Cessna. It's entirely possible, you know, you can't rule it out. No, you can't, absolutely. Also, cute here. Looking forward to fresh culinary adventures, and the very first time there's a kitchen, the message is, oh, I have to, uh, I have to cook for myself, uh-oh. Suggesting you've kind of learned Aww, to cook. Oh, that's lovely. As time goes yeah, by. Yeah, you're growing up. So that's kind of like a little bit that's of a... That's really nice. Bit of a hint yeah, of that right there. That's really that's lovely. That's super cute. And then... And so much more cosy feels like home. Because of all the plants. Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, Maxwell gave us $5 and uh, wants to know, have you guys watched Arcane yet? I know you've uh, no interest in League, but the show on its own is excellent. I've heard some good things, but no, I've not seen mm. I've not seen that. But I had heard it was it was pretty good. Ah, yes, indeed. I've like, literally not heard of this. So. Mm -hmm. but yes, it's kind of like, yeah, an really attempt cool. to create a... Yeah. The art style looks very nice. We are a bit behind with various stuff that we're watching. Yes. And there's a new season of MasterChef. MasterChef. Yes. And there's uh, a couple of really wholesome things uh, on, on UK TV right now. There's literally a Bake Off style show about woodworking. Yes. Which you're super into. Which is like... I suppose what you're supposed to do is photograph this room, I'm imagining. That's... We're so looking forward to meeting you. That's... So I'm happy I took a picture of my own wardrobe. Yes, wardrobe. Toilet! Guys, check out our downstairs toilet. Bonus toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Mag flipping Yeah, somebody was saying that it's uh, more uh, common in Australia to have like a separate toilet attached to your bathroom or whatever. Mm-hmm. No, bless her. Yes. My professional space for me, the professional. That's Very cute. cute. That's cute. We're already planning the dinner party as well. Oh, the table that size, you know. You only have two people over. You need a bigger table than that for a dinner party. Well, it yeah. depends how you define the term dinner party. I feel like that feels like more than four people to me. Well, maybe they can, like, have a dinner in the garden or something. Yes, that's true. They could overflow into the garden. Fridge ah! big enough for all our mag. Okay, that's super cute. That's adorable. That one's super cute. That's very, very sweet. And then, uh, yeah, we are um, 
we are quarter by thick. Oh, really? Let's I'm impressed. See. I thought you'd be way further behind than that. Mm -hmm. Oh, plan to get a pet. Yes. Pet. Presumably a cat, given the cat pictures around. Well, I mean, they don't Or a pig, it. given, you know, their, how a pig has made, has bought the house for them. Uh-huh. They get a pet pig. That'd be good PR for the next book. Yes. Right to the point where they, you know, turns into bacon. Oh, the front room's re the front room, the front room always ready, boy. That's just our new home. Well, I mean, the toilet was just bonus toilet. So That's more know. exciting than that, I think. Uh huh. The bathroom got a bit crowded very fast. Yeah, but such as it is with bathrooms, you know. Yes. Oh dear, oh dear. I think that is. Yep, that's all of them. Ooh. No, I'm, st I'm sticking with the photo of the toilet. I'm sticking with the photo of the toilet. That's the one for the album, right there. Which should have had a poster on it, but the game was like, no. You may not put the beloved photo of the series your wife either worked on or was super into on the toilet to wall. Well, I think she worked on it, depend given the amount of stuff that we saw. Yes. Um, then... I choose... I choose to believe that uh, she works in the like costume and special effects department. Yes. Uh, and that she's a cosplayer from the first. I yeah. choose to believe that she's just super into the show, annoyingly so. But like that ship is sailed at this point. I just have to deal. <laughs> that's 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 how I that's what I choose to believe. There we go. Could be worse. She could be a classicist. Wow. Rude. So there we go. That uh, I love you. That right there. And the classicism is very interesting. Mm -hmm. So there we go. That is that's unpacking. That is Woo! what we've got. There's yeah. If you want to like you know if you want to get this, obviously there are other stickers, uh -huh. other sticker mysteries to resolve. I've only got like maybe slightly over half of the stickers. So there's a whole bunch of uh, yeah ones to figure out. For some reason, I got very go. I did very well on the fourth sheet. And the first one. And the I think the first one, the easy ones though. Mm. Uh, they're just like the the basic baby ones. But like uh, for some reason, I did well on the fourth sheet. And there's a few more I did uh, I did not do so well on. So there's a few mysteries to solve. Yeah, that's it. That is uh, that's your lot. That is the entirety, pretty much, of uh, unpacking aside from solving a few mysteries right there. So we'll leave a few mysteries for you. Really wonderful game. Really hope they really really yeah. cute. I, I yeah. you know, I, I would completely be really okay amazing. with them making a sequel that's very similar, just telling a different story about yeah. a different life. Would we'll be completely okay with that. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I was saying to you earlier, I was wondering if there was gonna be a plot twist, like, you know, when at some point you start unpacking the boxes and it's just the various cut up components of your ex boyfriend and, you, <laughs> and, it, and it turns yes. into a and it turns into a puzzle game of how to dispose of them without being caught and suddenly shit gets real. That would have been good. I'd have appreciated that. That would have been magnificent. Maybe someone can make a mod. Where it's just yeah, body bits of body come out of uh, come out of the boxes. That'd be good. I'd like that. That'd be exquisite. You can plant bits of body parts in your girlfriend's plants. They're really nice. Yeah, that's true. Kind of you know, once you've got the garden, it's much easier to uh, to get rid of them. So all of that's that's that. That's that's been a lovely time. I've had a lovely time this evening. Right, you do that. I'm gonna go turn on the oven. Yeah. I'll, yes. I'll, I'll wrap up. Claire's going to go uh, deal with that. I'm surprised Tabby hasn't come and uh, bugged us, actually. Well, she's sleeping, so... Ah, fair enough. So that there is Unpacking. Thank you all so much for uh, for joining us. I have got some fun stuff planned for you the uh, rest of the week. I'm sure no one's going to be too uh, surprised here. I will be looking at the Skyrim uh, anniversary nonsense on Saturday. Uh, I haven't actually played it yet. I'm going to be playing it tomorrow. And I'm going to just, like, you know, try and look at some of the new stuff. I'm particularly interested in, yeah... Uh, new little missions and uh, weapons and armor and the fishing. We're gonna go fishing. We're gonna go on a fishing adventure. So fishing adventure on at Saturday. Secret thing I legally can't talk about uh, next Wednesday. Legally can't tell you what that is right now. But there is uh, something uh, coming up uh, right then. And uh, next Saturday I haven't decided um, because there were obviously there were weirdly there were three like retro re-releases all today. Grand Theft Auto. Uh, got its trilogy re-release thing. 
Uh, Skyrim got the anniversary edition, and KOTOR came out on the Switch, and apparently it's really good. Like, it looks like it's running in, like, I've seen footage of it, it looks like it's running in actual native 16x9, which it never has before, and the shadows look really crisp, and it looks like they've done a bit of work to the cutscenes, but I couldn't find high quality footage of that. So, like, oh, okay, it looks like it's actually superior to the version on Steam, which needs to be modded to hell, and even then kind of falls apart sometimes. So, the Switch might now be like the definitive edition of KOTOR, which is so dumb. But, uh, there we go. Uh, yes, by the way, um, Skyrim Survival Mode, I've already shown the channel before, it was a live stream. The Skyrim Survival live stream is one of my favourite live streams I've ever done. So, if you want to see me play that, it's already out there, and it has got one of my favourite endings to a live stream. I was laughing so hard. So, that's already out there if you're curious about that. I'm kind of curious about the fishing. We're going to go fishing in Skyrim, it's going to be amazing. So we got all sorts of fun stuff coming up. I'll probably look at one of those two, Grand Theft Auto or KOTOR on the Switch, uh, next Saturday. All sorts of exciting bits and pieces to come. More Dragon Age. More YOLO. We're coming up on the end of YOLO, one way or the other. Uh, very soon, we're coming up on the flipping end. So, hopefully, you join me for all of that. Thank you all so very much for joining us. This has been a delightful game to bring to you. It is going to be high up on my Games of the Year list. All right, the Indies are going to do well this year. The Indies have been killing it this year been absolutely magnificent so uh yes indeed it's all going to be absolutely lovely hopefully you join me for this this week and hopefully you join me next week which will probably be mega aquarium to be honest uh but i don't know maybe i'll put a vote between mega aquarium and skyrim which feels a bit harsh to make aquarium but we'll see I'll, I'll make my decision uh closer to the time so all sorts of come. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you very, very much to the Super Chat donators, to the channel members, to the patrons, to everything. I will, uh, yes, uh, see you very, very soon indeed, whether it's videos, live streams, whatever. You guys just have a lovely, lovely week. Hope you had a nice time in this live stream. I've had a lovely time. It's such a nice game. It's such a good game. So, 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 I will see you all in whatever capacity very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. See, there she is. She's coming. She heard me do it. Don't know if you heard that, but she's Claire. I've been Claire. I've been Claire. I've been Claire in the lasagna <laughs> has been in the microwave. Oh, sweet lasagna. Thank you very much. <laughs> and goodbye. Goodbye.